Okay, let's start now. Yesterday we discussed the money thing. Now, organizing, now organizing. All of our main main management, the principles of management. So, organizing is that. That's why we can do. We have to complete the job with the organizing skill. Yar ke rupna manager ke rupna organizing skill. Along with the subordinates, relationship is very important. Relationship is about autocratic, commanding, and relationship is about the responsibility is about authority, responsibility is about. What is meant by that uh, organizing skill for managers? An organizing skill that our mama must do. Why do we have to support them? Because they are our mama. So that authority, that responsibility, that authority, that power, that we use, that we have to do. We have very command, that we have to do. Our duty, that we have to do. Responsibility, that we have to do. We have to do responsibility. We have to do employee money responsibility. We have to do employers. We have to do that. 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 That is a responsibility. So the difference for the number. Authority means the power or right that a superior to give order to others. So our order will not be superior. So the top most people to give order to others. A responsibility, na it is an obligation. Our or obligation to perform the assigned duty or order. Our general obligation to perform the perform for everyone. The duty or order can be done with the proper. Along relationship, good relationship with the subordinates. Nalla or or nalla not poor. Parigi number subordinates in the value value. These are different factors. After centralization, now some decentralization, now some centralization. Now look at the central government. Central government means authority. Our own authority, our own issue. Come on, all right. Order pass. Sir, can you explain it in English? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Sir, can you explain it in English? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you explain it in English? My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I am not getting audio signal. I am not getting audio signal. So this is authority. Yesterday we discussed authority, centralization. Central, the authority to make important decisions, retain the top level managers. So authority, decentralization means the authority make. Important decision is delegated to managers at all the level in the hierarchy. That means power will be equal to all. Power, the authority make decision. Decision will be equal to delegated managers at all levels in the hierarchy. That is called as a decentralization. Centralization means the authority issue all the orders. Top level managers retain top level managers. That is called centralization, decentralization. So now, when I talk about centralization, I am aware of it. I am aware of the top level people are issuing an order. That is why I am obeying them. So, in the application of decentralization, all the people are not allowed to do it. All the people are not allowed to do it. All the decision is taken. This is called as decentralization. Of the factors, effect, factors and advantages of centralization. Centralization has advantages. So, cost efficient, cost efficient is used. Better command. One year, one day, one day, command. One year, all the people are doing it. Enhancing work quality, work quality is about extract from it. Uniformity in action, no real uniformity in work. Focus on mission, I mean, what is working for all of us? So they are focused on mission. Proper coordination, only one coordination. Top level coordination, obey the rules and regulations for all the subordinates. Obey the command, obey the order. Whatever they pass the order, whatever issue the order. Who will, who will uh, obey these commands and everything? Subordinates from the top level people. Different kinds of power. You are not able to pass that. 
So political decentralization, no, pata chena mo. Political decentralization means uh, present day Indian governments, Indian state government ask decentralization for all the state government. Central government not should control the state government. The equal power to all the state government, like federal government in US. America la pati na yalla federal government ne bolta. Ana yalla state ka na adhikar pagim dalit equal to all. Yalla pagim dalit chitra na. Sadhu bol India unhe kya karna hai? That is called as political decentralization. State to state uh, ask equal power to all the state people. So all the decision is not controlled by uh, central government. Yalla adhikar mo re play irko kura de. Yengil yalla adhikar mo equal aur kya karna hai? State government. That is called as Political decentralization, giving citizens or they are representing more power in public decision making. Then administrative decentralization, administrative decentralization. That means top level to bottom level, all the other powers are given. That that is called as transfer of responsibility for planning, finance, management of public function from center to region. All are the key areas. Then market decentralization, letting private sector take charge through privatization and deregulation. மார்க்கெட்லைசேஷன் <laughs> Parallel government, the government government, that is called as market decentralization. This is called as type, types of decentralization. The department of the territorial, product-based department, the process-based department, the customer-based department, the time-based department, that is very, very important. Functional-based, I'll leave discuss. Product-based department, basis of departmentation, territorial-based, geographical-based, area-based, district-based, state-based, rural-based, semi-urban, metropolitan-based, territorial-based. A geography is a place in India, uh, sorry, Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and for other states, that is called as ge- geographical departmentation. Process based on the value of the department. Customer is customer based department. Engage people, old age people, middle age people, uh, children, baby. This is all called customer based departmentation. Female customer, male customer. Old customer, old customer, old female customer, old male customer. Otherwise, it's too important. Uh, male baby, female baby, bro, and the uh, age person, uh, one, two, sorry, uh, five to 15 years ago. Other male female, that is called customer based departmentation. Time based departmentation, that is very, very important. Time wise. So, time wise, we are allocated the work for department people. This is called as a basis of department. Up to this, organizing is over. Now we move on to direction. பிளானி <laughs> organizing controlling and direction everything is very very important so all the variables play a vital role ella variable ella anji anji variable ulla poradha and the process of management ulla mudikka mudiyum endha vela namma plan pannalo andha vela pakka mudiyum adhu theva or direction theva erna process pannitu namma process nu organizing pannitu or vela organize panniyaachu plan panniyaachu organize panniyaachu adha na direction direction mean namma proper ana direction namalukku theva அந்த டைரக்ஷன் இருந்தாதான் நம்ம அந்த வேலையை செய்ய முடியும் 
another process for another service another whatever you are doing your process we need proper direction we need proper direction so uh, you proper direction kadachana da you are doing become first year the people who are doing become first year either you can go for msw be a sociology various courses social work many courses are available but you choose your path because of direction because you done your uh, 12th in uh, become become paper so now you get your direction already process uh, organizing is done so you now to enter into ug what kind of course you have to choose enna nalla course choose pannalam nama padichadhukka thamariya illa interdisciplinary course choose pannalama so andha maari da direction so direction is must must, must important or direction la nammala endra thu pogam mudiyadhu we need some direction what is the direction forward so whatever work you are doing planning or anything we need direction what direction our goal towards our goal our goal towards wrong direction or right direction is very very important whether you choose a perfect course or unwanted course many people don't, they don't have get direction they choose unwanted course they completed course somewhat they enter into ug somewhat no relationship with that course that we need must direction business for the direction kevam mm-hmm. the directions name is what direction so direction and definition means direction consists of process and techniques utilized in issuing instruction adar marma mukhi instruction namata process ide technique irukide technical ku irukada utilized in issuing instruction marketing people were doing marketing work sales work finance people who are doing work for finance work hr people who are doing work is uh, uh, human resource work then production people who are doing production work the other people system people who are doing system work that we need in instruction from the superior top leaders marketing people eh, hr work panna mudiyuma illa hr people eh, uh, production work panna mudiyuma that's why we need in instruction from the top level people we need in instruction from the top level people that is called as direction that is called as direction ungulike nare per direction go and do or distant more to pondicherry university we come bba ba economics sociology english many departments are there but you are choosing your become course that is your core course in solid bana that is called as a direction because already you know the process process is over you are the technical people but utilizing issue in section and making certain operation that are carried as original planned or original or planned matter the carry end the word so from the direction from the direction directing involve determining the course giving order and instruction and providing dynamic leadership that is very very important proposed by marshal author marshal ena solidare directing involve determining the course giving order and instruction and providing dynamic leadership the direction is the most important thing now the election is coming who is proper on direction instruction done for people adanalu yaar vetri kora poraani june naal thendiru that is called as a direction adha leader ku alagu enna na avanga mutilate pannirukanga makkalukitta that is called the right direction from the leaders our, our indian leaders many people uh, uh, um, manifest over there many people going for uh, construct uh, constructing the uh, uh, subordinates people the daily they go for road show and so on so extra etc meetings or something going on in the direction but the, the people get the right direction means people will vote for the leaders only the right leaders only that is called as a direction adhe mari business le appadi da vela le appadi da nalla instruction yaar kitta kedikudho nalla direction yaar kitta avana mudiya leader kitta kedicha adhu dhaan adhu direction or work up pandrom and we have the process complete whatever work the assigned instruction by our leaders top level leaders that is called as direction endha or value me seriyuma the proper one direction la vela seiyuma ungalku valaye therinjundhalo seri indha vela ipdi indha vela dhaan seiyum sonna andha vela dhaan seiyum that is called as direction so activating means and moving into action activating means and moving into action and over and action ko vela seiya pora action that is called as what direction we need what direction power to the group simulative power to the group 
supplying similarity power to the group proposed by G. G. R. Terry. This is called as a direction. Direction or the power of characteristics of direction. Delegate function. Remember, remember, delegate function. If you want a successful person, we need good direction and going, going to achieve our goal. So we need good direction, like Abdul Kalam. Abdul Kalam is always uh, instruct to the students. Go and imagine your life. Go and live your life in imagination. You never want to put in Kanao Kanangal Sulu Gala, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. That's the success of the story of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. That is called a delegate function, executive function. That is very, very important. Or Valley Mudiki Poringa, or Valley Mudikino, Adinapa, executive way no, executive, the execute Panano, and the Pakao Valley Mudikino. That is called as executive function. That's we need direction. Or Valley say you need the Mataver, I mean, the direction Java. Executive direction there, top level direction there. That is called as a direction. Then create create your activity. One value of the Sadhana Vishim. One value create your Yosichi. Number is about to insect from that. That is what creative activity. Creative activity. Then human factor. Human factor. That's a direction where get by where human factor. The direction air put for top level leaders to what? Some subordinates, Rendi Pepe deal with Rendi Pepe human dama. That is called as human factors. Human factors. Then continuous activity. That is a continuous activity. So, meet the quarters of them, sir. Yeah, the quarters of them. Yeah, the quarters of them. Yeah, the quarters of just sacrifice and compromise. Okay. I am not in college. Now I'm in home. It's quite difficult for me. Okay. Fatima. Purinjida. I'm the sacrifice and the compromise. So, uh, character is direction. It's a continuous activity, ma. That will continue the activity. Or disturb the disturb the ma. Why say? Parvala, parvala. You just say, Papa, then start up. Patin Lama Punjo Sakisaki Basement. Oh, yes, sir. Ah, sir. Other people also accepted my request. It's my humble request. Continuous activities. Characters of direct is a continuous activities. No one to be stopped because it's a continuous process from the direction given by the our uh, leaders, top level people, CEO, CFO, CMO, and followed by other people. So Characteristics of direct is very, very important. So, delegate function, executive function, create activity, human factor, pervasive function, and continuous function. So, continuous activity. Then, only you want to achieve your success. That is called as characters of direct things. Then, components of direct. What are the components? In the components, they have direction. Supervision. Supervision. Ensuring the effort of employer contributing the output. That is called as supervision. Ensuring. You effort for an employee, the output that is the output that is the output that is the output that is the the output that is 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 the output 
that is called as components of direction why are we giving direction to the subordinates na edhukku enoda subordinates direction kudukra enakku and the value pakkava mudikum that is called as what supervision ensuring that the effort of employer contribute to the output i i i give i i give direction to the, my subordinates i'll get the output of the job that is very very important job is very very important the job finishing the job is very very important finishing the job na job eppudhu na finish panna you can finish the job any mode but finishing job is very very important the product you manufacture the product but the finishing the product is very very important to reach the to reach the audience to reach the customer that product is very very important and also i will make profit is very very important or na product manufacture pandra and the manufacturer on the product na yaar da reach pannom customer da reach pannom customer da reach panni na pannom enudaya product ikana price ana vaangano that is called as what output that is called as supervision ensuring that the effort of employees are contribute to the output and motivation it moves person to action motivation or leader eppadi irukum to motivate motivate the subordinates and encourage the subordinates appreciate the subordinates and benefits given to the subordinates based on motivation you appreciate that job seyra vela nam motivate pananu avangala appreciate pananu avangala vande paaraatanu nara sendiya sir go you finish your job then go let's go. no problem okay thank you let's adha mari or attitude irukku you can motivate your subordinates nalla pannirukama yeah keep up pannunga innum nalla varuvinga nu solla that is called as motivation it moves the person to action அப்ப உங்க மோட்டிவேஷனால மறுபடியும் இந்த ஒர்க்க நிறைய செய்யணும் இனோவேட்டிவா செய்யணும் ஜஸ்ட் இட் மூவ்ஸ் पर्सन டு ஆக்சுவலி மோட்டிவேட் தி சபார்டினேட்ஸ் தே ஆர் யுவர் சபார்டினேட்ஸ் will think innovatively creatively based on the leadership motivation based on the leadership motivation that's called as it moves person to action then leadership very leadership it's a continuous process of influence behavior ஒரு லீடர் பத்தنا என்ன பண்ணுவார் behave பண்ணுவார் ஒரு லீடர் பத்தா அவங்களுடைய <laughs> it is a continuous process of influencing behavior that is called as leadership so leadership is very very important leadership to uh, impact on the subordinates Leader, leadership behaviors directly impact on subordinates leadership oda behavior direct ah impact avum subordinates kitta impact avum adha base panni da work nam enna panna mudiyum extract panna mudiyum or work vaanga mudiyum that is called as leadership communication is very very important it is a start and ending of the operation நீங்க ஸ்டார்ட் பண்றதுக்கு கம்யூனிகேட் பண்ணனும் எண்ட் ஆஃப் தி process கண்டினியூஸ் ஆஃப் process கம்யூனிகேஷன் தேவை எண்ட் ஆஃப் தி process கம்யூனிகேஷன் தேவை வித்தவுட் ப்ராப்பர் கம்யூனிகேஷன் we can't extract our work without proper communication you cannot be a supervision without proper communication we don't motivation you don't have motivation without a proper communication you don't have leadership ஒரு கம்யூனிகேஷன் இல்லாம சூப்பர்விஷன் பண்ண முடியாது மோட்டிவேஷன் பண்ண முடியாது லீடர்ஷிப் பண்ண முடியாது communication is one of the best tool to execute all the operation of the business communication is the main tool communication is the tool you using english german japan or whatever it may be communication is a big tool to connect the global people to connect the local people to connect the national people communication nama nalla tool adhu da yaar kuda connect panna mudiyum neenga business pandringa உலகத்துல இருக்கிற எல்லா மக்கள் கூட கனெக்ட் பண்ண முடியும் உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்ச மொழியில அப்புறம் நேஷனல் லெவல்ல கனெக்ட் பண்ணலாம் லோக்கல் லெவல் ரூரல் செமி அர்பன் மெட்ரோ பாலிட்டன் தமிழ்நாடுக்குள்ள கனெக்ட் பண்ணலாம் அப்ப நம்மளுக்கு கம்யூனிகேஷன் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஆப்ரேஷன் ஒரு வேலையா ஒரு ஆப்ரேஷன் ஆப்ரேஷன் கண்டினியூஸ் ப்ராசஸ் ஒரு வேலை ஆரம்பிக்கிறதுல முடியல வரைக்கும் அது கண்டினியூஸ் ப்ராசஸ் அப்ப வேலை ஆரம்பிக்க முன்னாடியே நம்ம என்ன தே ப்ராப்பர் கம்யூனிகேஷன் பிளானிங் ஸ்டாஃபிங் கண்ட்ரோலிங் ஆர்கனைசிங் மானிட்டரிங் we need proper communication without proper communication the work will not complete work will not complete the work mulumai adaiyadu oru vela mulumai adaiyadu that is called as communication 
we need proper communication na proper ah ungalukitta communicate pannalana na ungala reach panna mudiyadu mukkiyama ungala reach panna vey mudiyadu if you put i am both people like i am satisfied whether people coming from north india from other state people they also listen the class and local people also listen the class i can compensate both the people i can sacrifice the both the people so ungala rendu perume na fulfill i can fulfill the needs of both the students both other state and also our state so that is called as communication that is called as proper communication without communication you can't complete the work so we need components of directing supervision motivation leadership and communication then the process of direction what is the process in the process number or work process that is called as defining the objectives enna seiya poringa edhu ungude goal edha reach panna poringa what is your goal so defining objectives you want to reach your goal you want to execute your plan you want to execute your plan without objective is a question mark so defining objective to execute your plan then organizing the effort is very very important already we discussed organizing the effort organizing the work that is very very important or process panni da organize pannu proper or kuta nadagudhu or kuta epdi nam organize pannu organize pannu or kuta thana kuta mudiyuma this is possible this is election time without organizing the without organizing people you the people will attend the meeting we arrange the meeting it's possible the election time without organizing the effort organizing is very very important or organize pannama or kuta thana kuta mudiyuma adu proper disciplined way of people that is very very important calm and quiet listen your speech or leadership the leadership words that is very very important organizing the effort is very very important measuring the work that is also very very important and the work nam measure panna eppadi vela seiranga avangalukana profit edha vechi tharuvinga avangalukana appreciation edha vechi tharuvinga avangalukana benefits edha vechi tharuvinga measuring of work if you want to uh, measuring the work definitely you give more appraisal to the subordinates benefits to the subordinates appreciation to the subordinates and uh, promotion to the subordinates it's a measuring the work or work measure panada avanga promotion benefit you can give assurance to everything because measuring the work then developing the people developing the people so developing the people means the sense of work development so year by year the people were experienced at work developing the people technologically and followed by updating the technology updating the marketing team updating the product team updating the finance team updating the everything updating the recent trend in business that is in the developing the people based on process of direction so ninga eppadi direction kudukringa unga subordinates ku adha base panni da enna pannuva process of direction defining the objective organizing the effort measuring the work developing the people then principles of directing maximum individual contribution that is the main principles maximum individual contribution maximum not minimum they are saying maximum individual contribution is must for direction ellarume na poi direction panna mudiyadhu ellarume leader avadhu mudiyadhu so individual must be a leader they are directing their subordinates that's why we called as maximum individual contribution or thani nabar da thanudiya subordinates direction kudupar ellarum direction kudukudiyadhu or group la or leader irpar ottu motha company or leader da irpanga so and the leader da enna panuvare that's a individual person individual person will give direction to the subordinates that's called as maximum individual contribution then harmony in the objectives harmony romba romba mukkiyam then unity of direction ellama ore unit ah irukum that's called as direction india vena solrom unity and diversity solrom la eppadi vetrumai ottrumai and the vetrumai ottrumai eppadi varudha so because of this ellarum onnu nenikrom ellarum aayira modi aayira madam aayira idhukku namma ellame india rendu ondru porrala that is called as unity of direction and the direction mundu da varudha unity ellarume eppadi ottrumai avranga and the leader portha adha ottruma unity of direction appropriate so leader is must leaders direction is must leaders proper direction that is very very important leader will direct wrongly and negatively and positively rendu vagaya irukku leader thivravadi leader ah irukra thanudiya thivravada seyalukku adanal avana leader nu solla mudiyuma 
சோ நல்ல செயலுக்கான லீடர் தான் நமக்கு லீடர்னு சொல்ல முடியும் மகாத்மா காந்தி இருக்கிறாங்க வில்லடல் இருக்கிறாங்க அப்புறம் ஃபார்வர்டு போய் நிறைய ஹிட்லர் இருக்காரு முசோலி இருக்கிறாங்க எவ்வளவு பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க நம்ம யாரும் நல்லவங்க சொல்றோம் தேசத்துக்காக யாரு மக்களுக்காக வாழ்ந்தவங்க அவங்க என்ன பண்ணுவோம் தலைவரை ஏத்துக்கிறோம் மக்களை கொண்டவங்களை என்னைக்கு நம்ம தலைவரை ஏத்துக்கிட்டே கிடையாது மக்களை கொண்டவங்கள யாரோ அது யாரா இருந்தாலும் சரி மக்களை மக்களை துன்புறுத்தி வாழற வாழ்க்கை வாழ்க்கையே கிடையாது அதுக்கெல்லாம் யார் தேவை ஒரு லீடர் நல்ல லீடர் தேவை நல்ல லீடர் தேவை மத தெரியா எடுத்துக்கலாம் எவ்வளவு பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க லீடர்ஸ் சொல்ல போனாக்க அப்துல் கலாமா எடுத்துக்கலாம் மத தெரியா அப்துல் கலாம் மகாத்மா காந்தி எவ்வளவு பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க லீடர்ஸ் சோ தட் இஸ் கால்ஸ் யூனிட்டி ஆஃப் டைரக்ஷன் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த லீடர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த லீடர்ஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் லீடர்ஸ் இருக்கிறாங்க நெகட்டிவ் லீடர்ஸ் இருக்கிறாங்க ஹிட்லர் இருக்கிறாரு முசோலன் இருக்காரு அப்புறம் இப்ப பிரசண்டா நார்த் கொரியா பிரசிடென்ட் ஒருத்தர் இருக்காரு அவங்களாம் நெகட்டிவ் தே ஆர் நாட் கமிங் அண்டர் லீடர்ஸ் So we don't follow their direction, but unfortunate fate, நம்ம தலையெழுத்து நம்ம வாழற காலத்துல அந்த மக்கள் அவதி பக்க நேரடியா பார்க்கணும் அதெல்லாம் யாரால அந்த லீடர் ஆல அவங்க கொடுக்குற டைரக்ஷன் ஆல சோ வி நீட் குட் டைரக்ஷன் நாட் பேட் டைரக்ஷன் பேட் லீடர் ஐ மீன் பிகம் குட் லீடர் அண்ட் பீப்பிள் லீடர் தட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் மக்களால் தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்ட தலைவராக இருக்கணும் தட்ஸ் கால் யூனிட்டி ஆஃப் டைரக்ஷன் தென் அப்ராப்ரேட்னஸ் ஆஃப் டைரக்ஷன் டெக்னிக்ஸ் அப்ராப்ரேட் டைரக்ஷன் முக்கியமா இருக்கணும் இந்த டைரக்ஷன் எல்லாம் ஒண்ணும் பண்ண முடியாது டெக்னிக் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஒரு லீடர் ஆகுது ஒரு தகுதி இருக்குது அந்த லீடர் கொடுக்குற டைரக்ஷன் மக்கள் மதிக்கிறாங்கன்னா அதுக்குன்னு தனி ஒரு டெக்னிக் அவர் யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க அப்ராப்ரேட் ஆஃப் டைரக்ஷன் டெக்னிக்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன் தென் மேனேஜர் கம்யூனிகேஷன்ஸ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் கம்யூனிகேஷன் டு சபார்டினேட்ஸ் மேனேஜரல் கம்யூனிகேஷன் டு மேனேஜர் கம்யூனிகேஷன் டு சபார்டினேட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் the leadership we already discussed on what is the leadership follow through so ninga ellathi the follow through pananum analyze pananum everything you have to update it yourself update it yourself and update it yourself by market trend that's very very important present situation endha mari namala thagol nama maathikkanum that's a follow through that is a principles of directing maximum individuals contribution harmony and objectives unity of directions appropriate of direction techniques manager and communication manager and communication leadership and follow through then what is span of control span of control is very very important what is span of control number of people who report one manager is hierarchy that is a span of control that is a span of control number of people who report to one manager that is very very important span of control and the control over ortra kaila da irukku that is called as what number of people who report to one manager hierarchy that's a span of control more people under the control of one manager the wider span of control more people nariya per sundar si sundar pichai kitta ulagathula irukra ella manager control irupa sundar pichai that is called the more people under the control of one manager that wider span of control wider span of control இந்தியால இருக்கிற எல்லா மேனேஜரும் அம்பானி கிட்ட கண்ட்ரோலா இருப்பாங்க மேனேஜர் India level la one manager to hierarchy that is called the span of control span of control less means narrow span of control la avaru pandichay la motto control pandraar that is called less means of narrow or of span of control tamil nadu la motto irukkaraar illa karnataka la motto da control panna mudiyum the manager ala that is called less means of three types of span of control the number of people who report to one manager in hierarchy the more people under the control of one manager the wider span of control the less means a narrow span of control then example below the uh, is span of control see marketing manager marketing assistant marketing researchers tele sales supervisor customer care assistant that's called as marketing manager all the people report to marketing our marketing assistant and our seri sales person and our seri market researcher and our seri customer care marketing manager and our seri yaar report panna marketing manager report panna that is called as span of control that is called as what span of control we need the direction from one manager 
the number of people who report to one manager in a hierarchy means we get a direction from one manager then more people adhigamana makkal ulagathil irukra ella manager um yaara da report pannona like uh, ceo of sundar pichai from adari ambari like those people that's called as wider people less people pandicherry la manager mathu namadhu pannona that's called as less means uh, narrow span of control then factor determines span of supervision jennana factor oondal vande determine pannu span of supervision ku jennana adu vande factor direct impact pannudhu or economics la economics la or or naatoda poruladaram solrom simple gdp gross domestic product solrom so adhu theyana enna nadu thani nabar varumana corporate varumana tax thani nabar tax அப்புறம் எல்லா பொருளை வாங்குற டைரக்ட் டாக்ஸ் இன்டைரக்ட் டாக்ஸ் மக்களோட வாழ்வாதாரம் பொருளா எல்லாரோட பொருளாதாரம் வெளிநாட்டோட எல்லாத்தையும் சேர்ந்துதான் நம்ம பொருளாதாரம் சொல்றோம் இ கால் டாக்ஸ் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் சொல்றோம் ஜிடிபின்னு சொல்றோம் எல்லாத்தையும் சேர்த்துதான் எல்லா வேரியபிள்ஸ் சேர்த்தா நம்ம ஜிடிபி ஆட் ஆகும் அதே மாதிரிதான் இங்கேயும் டிட்டர்மைனிங் ஸ்பேக்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் சூப்பர்விஷன் ஒரு ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் கண்ட்ரோல் எதாவதுனா தேவைப்படுது என்னென்ன ஃபேக்டர் இருக்குது கெப்பாசிட்டி ஆஃப் சூப்பர் சுப்பீரியர் நம்ம சுப்பீரியரோட கெப்பாசிட்டி எப்படி இருக்குது capacity of subordinates superior oda capacity mukkiyam subordinate oda capacity mukkiyam avanga seira vela nature of work romba romba mukkiyam communication romba romba mukkiyam supervision from others mathavana namba supervise pananum that is called supervision from others use staff assistant use use of staff assistants then planning then degree of decentralization degree of decentralization na adhigaram paravalaka padanam that is called as degree of decentralization this is called as span of supervision span of supervision factor determines span of supervision capacity of super, superior capacity of subordinate nature of work degree of decentralization planning use of staff assistants supervisions from others communication te- techniques then span of control principles top level manager must solve the variety of different non occurring problems non recurring problems so top level managers la ponu variety of problem varu thoilali idu and prachana varu customer idu and prachana varu political pressure varu appo district level state level political pressure varu very like ella pressure varu avarku adala solve pannadha yaroda vela narrow span of control at the top top level leader varu உலகத்தினர் <laughs> then middle level manager cannot afford to be tied down by large number of people reporting directly to them middle level manager enna panuvaru avaral afford panna mudiyadu so large number of people reporting directly to them na avaral afford panna mudiyadu but avu enna panano ella problem vaanga enga solrano top level people ta solrano that's called as manager work span of control then first level manager are principally in direct contact with immediate employees first level managers work with all the managers avaru da supervise panuvaru namma subordinates so avaru immediate enna panano எம்ப்ளாயிஸ் கான்டெக்ட் பண்ணி அவங்களோட ப்ராப்ளத்தை சால்வ் பண்ணி எங்க சால்வ் பண்ணணும் சால்வ் பண்ணணும் சால்வ் இமீடியட்டா சால்வ் பண்ண முடியாத விஷயத்த டேக் இட் டு மிடில் லெவல் மேனேஜர்ஸ் மிடில் லெவல் மேனேஜர் டேக் இட் டு டாப் லெவல் மேனேஜர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் நேரோ ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் கண்ட்ரோல் அட் டாப் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் நேரோ ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் தென் வைட் ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆல்ரெடி டிஸ்கஸ் நேரோ ஸ்பேன் ஆஃப் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் wider span of span of management this means single managers or supervisors where it is motivation of definite motivation definition what is mean by motivation what is mean by motivation motivation will be said motivation is a general term applying entire class of desires needs wishes and similar forces to state that manager motivate the subordinate to to say that they things which they hope will satisfy the drives and desires and induce them as to act in desired manner coons the father of uh, uh, management principles of management coons da solirkar ninga motivate is a general term 
மோட்டிவேஷன் <laughs> motivation means uh, not only if we extract the work from the subordinates or vela vela to mudana the subordinates ka nalla nalla service kodutama avulukku benefits promotion apra increment ellame kudukum that's its lead to high level performance of organization a motivated employee stays in organization more their absenteeism is quite low your yoga yoga motivate panni you kasu employee vechi subordinates vechi illa avanga absent e avamaatanga ஒரு <laughs> I am ready to willing to of employ to work hard that drives to be a best result to the goals drives to the best result then in profit to the company expand but the company will not come to very large to support what they are employed that drives to best result of the goals helpful in building good labor relations helpful building good labor relationships that is a top level people go above it so for non relationship yedral avaru na motivation avaru so between the two people the employee the employer and the employee relationship based on motive so the employer dala kudukura modala linga employee thoyilali ivu rendu perku irukra relationship nalla relationship based on motivation improvement of skill and knowledge la or work seyra adla pichidale podu automatically என்னுடைய இன்வால்மெண்ட்டோட எல்லா வேலையும் ஸ்கில் அண்ட் நாலேஜ் டிக்ரீஸ் வேஸ்டேஜ் அண்ட் ஆக்சிடென்ட் ஆக்சிடென்ட்லாம் டிக்ரீஸ் ஆகிடும் வேஸ்டேஜ் ஆக்சிடென்ட் இம்ப்ரூவ் ரிலேஷன் பிடிக்கும் மேனேஜர்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்ப்ளாயி இம்ப்ரூவ் ரிலேஷன் பிடிக்கும் மேனேஜர்ஸ் அண்ட் எம்ப்ளாயி மேனேஜர் கிட்டையும் எம்ப்ளாயி கிட்டையும் சாரி சபார்டேட்ஸ் கிட்டையும் ஒரு நல்ல ஒரு ஒரு நல்ல பாண்டிங் இருக்கும் இம்ப்ரூவ் ரிலேஷன் பிடிக்கும் மேனேஜர் அண்ட் எம்ப்ளாயி types of motivation enna na motivation irukku so types of motivation financial method non financial method na sonna mari salary bonus profit sharing time rates commission share ownership and performance related pay this is called as financial benefits of motivation financial benefits of motivation enude enude sorry enude profit la avangalukku na பங்கிட்டு தரணும் அது ஒரு ஷேர் ஓனர்ஷிப் அப்புறம் ப்ராஃபிட் ஷேரிங் சேலரி இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணணும் போனஸ் கொடுக்கணும் கமிஷன் தரணும் திஸ் ஆல் கால் ஃபினான்சியல் மெத்தட் சப்போர்ட் மோட்டிவேஷன் நான் ஃபினான்சியல் மெத்தட் ஜாப் என்லார்ஜ்மெண்ட் ஜாப் என்ரிச்மெண்ட் டீம் ஒர்க்கிங் எம்பவர்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரிஞ்ச் பெனிஃபிட் ஜாப் ரொட்டேஷன்ஸ் திஸ் கால் ஆஸ் நான் ஃபினான்சியல் மெத்தட் டீம் ஒர்க்கிங் ஜாப் என்ரிச்மெண்ட் எம்பவர்மெண்ட் ஒரு நான் மோட்டிவேஷன் பண்ணதா அவங்க எம்பவர் ஆவாங்க முன்னேறுவாங்க எம்பவர் தேர் எம்ப்ளாயி தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் நான் ஃபைனன்சியல் மெத்தட் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் टाइप्स ஆஃப் மோட்டிவேஷன் மோட்டிவேஷன் தியரி உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் கண்டென்ட் தியரி process தியரி கண்டென்ட் தியரி process தியரி கண்டென்ட் தியரி ப்ரோபோஸ்ட் பை மாஸ்லோ நீட் ஹையரார்க்கி எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் மோ மோட்டிவேஷன் மெக்லன் நீட்ஸ் தியரி ஆல்பர் இயர் டிஆர்ஜி தியரி process தியரி தியரி வெறும் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் தியரி ஆடம் ஈக்குவிட்டி தியரி so idla main ana theory pathala maslow theory motivation theory la main theory maslow theory so main maslow theory means fulfilling the 
basic needs of common man that's very very important maslow proposed the basic basic needs of fulfilling the basic needs of common man basic needs to extreme needs ஒரு மனுஷனுக்கு தேவையான உணவு உணவு உடுக்க உடை இருக்க இடம் உண்ணும் உணவு இது ரொம்ப ரொம்ப முக்கியம் இந்த நீடை இந்த நீடை பில்பில் பண்றது இல்லாம எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் கல்யாணம் அப்புறம் நல்ல தரமான வாழ்க்கை தரமான வீடு நல்ல எஜுகேஷனு அப்புறம் அவங்க வாழ்ந்த வாழ்க்கை எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் தான் கோயிங் ஃபார் டூ ஃபாரின் டூர் அது வரைக்கும் நம்ம ஃபுல்ஃபில் பண்ணுவோம் மோட்டிவேஷனல் தேரி proposed by maslow a need hierarchy va paarenga our psychological needs psychological needs na enna na aru varum psychological needs means fulfilling the basic needs unna unavu uduka uda thangum idam that is called as psychological needs basic needs you fulfilling the basic needs of maslow theory maslow proposed fulfilling the basic needs uduka uda unna idam food shelter and cloth that is called psychological then safety needs so idu ungal fulfill aayiruchu எனக்கு உன்ன உணவு இருக்க இடம் தங்கத்துக்கு இடங்களுக்கு எல்லாமே இருக்குது அப்ப என்ன பண்ணுவோம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் ஐ மூவ் ஆன் டு எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட் மீன்ஸ் அல்ரெடி ஹேவ் ஆல் தி ஃபுல்ஃபில் ஆல் தி நீட்ஸ் லைக் ஃபுட் ஷெல்டர் கிளாத் தென் சேஃப்டி தென் சேஃப்டி மீன்ஸ் சேஃப்டி ஜாப் சேஃப்டி லைஃப் எவ்ரிதிங் தென் ஐ அம் கோயிங் ஃபார் லவ் அண்ட் பிலாங்கிங் சோ ஐ நீட் பார்ட்னர் மை பார்ட்னர் தென் அலாங் வித் மை பார்ட்னர் ஐ அம் கோயிங் ஃபார் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் அப்ப என்னடா தேவை கார் அப்புறம் ஃப்ளைட்ல போறது இதெல்லாம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் நீட்ஸ் theory. psychological needs safety needs love and belongings extreme needs aesthetic needs self actualization needs this is called as motivation needs so or matter nama next class la paakalama thank you so much ma the class mudinjir cha yes sir completed
யாராவது இருக்கீங்களா நல்லாவே கிளியரா தானே எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்றாங்க பாருங்க புரியுது புக்க பேஸ் பண்ணி தான் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் எடுக்கறாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் என்னது அதன் தெரியலையே வந்தாங்கனா தான் தெரியும் அந்த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் இன்னைக்கு இவங்க இருக்காங்க பிசினஸ் நம்மளுக்கு இந்த கம்யூனிகேஷன் இருக்குல்ல அதுவா இருக்கலாம் தெரியல ஜாயின் பண்ண தான் தெரியும் Hi sir, good morning. Hello sir. Sir, no. Sir, no. Class will start out. Okay, okay. Okay.
गुड मॉर्निंग मोबाइल से सॉडी बोल ना यस सर या थैंक यू पीपीटी साल से विजिबल ना हवा है साल सॉरी बल ना यस सर यस सर हाँ ओके थैंक्स सो मच ओके प्रीवियस क्लास वे डिस्कस एनीथिंग ओके प्रीवियस क्लास वे डिस्कस जब बोर्ड the transfer of property the title under we discussed in the previous classes today we are going to discuss about the law related to the negotiable instruments okay here uh, there are a lot of uh, negotiable instruments are available for example fill of exchanges promise note bill of lading there are many things checks and all it's available instrumentations okay here uh, each and every instrument they have own laws okay but everything comes under negotiable instrument act okay here the negotiable instruments are thing but it's a return document that represent the rights to payment uh, of sum of money uh, and are freely transferred from one person to another person so okay, if you take example of check okay here if you give uh, the banks each and every banks have their own uh, checks okay they were the number the mi micr okay, everything they have okay nowadays is not that much complicated initially uh, the printing charges there are many complications are there now is there is no such complications okay here uh, thing is that by way of check and all you can transfer our money from one account to another account uh, previously what happened we don't have core banking software and all that is very difficult in the clear of check it will take more time nowadays we have implemented the core banking solutions and all now it is very very easy uh, sometimes a fraction of second also the money is debited and credited in the respective accounts okay therefore nowadays it's not that much complicated but previously there are many complications there are many failures we need to wait for longer period sometimes the checks is damaged there are many reasons are there nowadays there is no much reasons okay here the negotiable instrument is nothing but it's a return document uh, here they mention the payment uh, what are the uh, payment amount the payment conditions everything they mention by this way they are freely transferred from one person to another person one account to another account it's easy transfer that is a negotiable instruments here the important provisions related to the check uh, bill of exchanges and promissory note uh, i have promissory note is nothing but uh, Hmm, the example you take uh, Indian rupees. Okay, Indian rupees. Uh, the RB governor uh, is signed on that. I pay it to pay some of the amount. Okay, here in this case, what is a promissory note? That means the RB governor promising that this paper is valid for fifty rupees, hundred rupees, thousand rupees, two thousand rupees, whatever the denominator mentioned in the paper. That is the promissory note. Okay, it's also kind of promissory note only. Okay. Then each instrument have own characteristics and legal provisions governing its usage, liability, enforcement under Negotiable Instrument Act. Okay, just now we discussed now. If it is uh, bank, the check uh, cheats and all. Uh, okay, there is separate provisions. For example, uh, check dishonored. If you giving check, the, the check is dishonored due to the uh, balance, due to some restrictions, then they have rights to claim because. The check also negotiable instrument tax. Now, if you give check, the check should be honored. If it is dishonored, then you need to face the consequences related to the loss or provisions which are clearly mentioned in the negotiable instrument tax. <clears throat> For example, uh, you take the characteristics of check. Uh, here, the check is an instrument uh, drawn on the bank payable on the demand. Okay, just an instrument, it's just a paper. Uh, it's on demand. Okay, it's like it's also like demand draft only. Okay, that is demand payable. Once we demanded through the checks and all, the banks will fulfill the demand. Then the legal provision governing the usage and liabilities under Negotiable Instrument Act uh, 1881. This act, uh, there are many conditions are there. Uh, for example, air bill of exchanges, promissory note, check, 
bill of lading there are many <coughs> there are many negotiable instruments are there each and every instruments if it is presented if it is insured if it is dishonored then what are the legal enforcement everything is comes under negotiable instrument act okay here if you are doing the business okay why we want to study about the negotiable instruments for example uh, if you are doing business okay definitely uh, nowadays the business are not doing with the cash transaction all the transactions are done by the dd online nift rtgs there are many ways are there nowadays it's very very uh, common okay previously it's purely based on cash okay purely based on cash now it is no need to using the cash and all we have a lot of uh, facilities are there for example you are doing the business okay you are you want to give some payment of one crore rupees but in your account you have only 80 lakhs okay listen carefully okay you need to pay one lakh rupees to your customer that is your supplier uh, in this cases in your bank account you have 80 lakhs only okay there are many possibilities i will tell one of the possibilities okay here you can request at the bank manager for bank overdraft okay this is the facilities given by the business people in this case what happens it's a short this is like a short term goal based on your transactions the company that is a bank uh, manager will give bank overdraft which means you have 880 lakhs only in your account he make and he clear the one lakh sorry one crore check Okay, the additional 20,000 itself like a loan. Okay, here this is called bank overdraft. Okay, some cases what happen, uh, you know that you, in your account you have 80, uh, 80 lakhs only, but you will get after, uh, you will get 20,000 after a week. Okay, in this case what happened, you can make the check, no issues. But thing is that you need to mention the date clearly. Okay, if you are given the date by today itself, then what happened, the people started to withdraw from the banks. If you don't have your money in your account, then your credit score, uh, then there are many things out there. Okay, it will everything is suffered. Okay, and then a negotiable instrument act will enforce. There are many things happen. Okay, instead of making the today date, you can make one week later date. For example, today is 12 means you can make check for 17 or 18 or 19 or 20. Okay, because you know very well you have 80 lakhs only in your account. After a couple of weeks or after a week, you will get 20 lakhs from your customers. In this cases, this one crore check will be uh, check will be honored. Otherwise, it will be dishonored. That's what happened. Here, you make a check, no issues, okay? But the check uh, date will be uh, what is expected, one or two days extra. These are all the things you need to understand when you're going for business. Okay, why we want to study negotiable instrument that if you fail to dishonor the check, if you fail to honor the check, that is, if it did not dishonor, then the illegal enforcement, there are many things will happen. Okay, that is the reason. Advantages also is there, the disadvantage also is there. Okay, then only that means if you understand, then only you can make use of it. Otherwise, we can't do anything. Okay, this is about the fourth, uh, fifth unit. Uh, sixth unit we are going to study about uh, the company act okay uh, 1956 uh, but right now company act 2013 is going on okay uh, in 2013 the section one uh, section one of company act is implemented in 2013 itself okay now uh, now the latest act is 2013 okay it is a previous act okay before the previous act 1913 something is there okay the 1931 something is there okay there are many many updations are available right now the company act 2013 is going on okay here here uh, the company act 1956 was significant uh, legislations and this required incorporations management winding up of the companies okay 
for example we discussed from class 1 onwards the company is a separate entity how it separate the entity means for example why we are separate uh, why we are the human uh, what is the uh, proof that is a birth certificate is there no we are so and so persons uh, our father our mother we are citizen of this country and all everything you can identify through the birth certificate same concept okay here if the company wants to uh, if the company wants to if the company Just a minute. Here, uh, here, uh, okay, like what, what we are, uh, human beings, okay, we are natural persons, okay, which means we have birth certificate based on birth certificate, we can identify our entire data, okay, uh, that is nationality, father name, mother name, address, date of birth, place of birth, we can identify through the, uh, the birth certificate but uh, in case of companies it's very difficult to identify what are the companies how many companies are there okay what is their process what is the product everything we need to monitor okay why because we want to restrict the illegal businesses we want to protect the legal businesses okay therefore what happened we need to make some last that is the reason the company law is emerged okay here the company law prescribed uh, some of the regulations like incorporations okay if you want to make a company then what are things you need to uh, do all those things comes under uh, incorporation then management okay how to manage the companies the key manager positions everything is mentioned in the company act thereafter the winding up of the companies in 2000 uh, the winding up companies uh, we all knows that the person birth certificate, the death certificate, both are both both are more both are important for the upcoming generations. Okay, same concept. If the company is, is going on, no issues. If they, if you want to close the companies, then you have to wind up properly. Why? Because you are uh, the publics are invested money in your companies. Okay, uh, in your companies. Therefore, what happened? Hmm. Therefore, what happened? We need to properly close, which means uh, we uh, we need to protect all the shareholders. That is the main reason. Okay, if the closing of companies very very easy means people what they will do? They will open and close companies each and every month. Therefore, what happened? It is not entertained. Okay, if they want to close the companies, they need to close properly. Then uh, that is the uh, introduction of Company Act. The Company Act. Uh, mainly focusing on incorporations, management, and winding up. Okay, that is the main focus. There are still historical content and need for regulations. Here, the enactment uh, enactment of uh, Company Act uh, 1956, uh, very simple. Okay, once this act was implemented, it was rapid growth on the corporate sectors. Okay, before the post independence, after post independence, uh, this act will help a lot okay previously what happened we are following the british laws uh there are a lot of complications are there okay once we established as a separate country independence thereafter we framed the uh that's the existing one only but we altered the sections which helps which helps the indian people okay that is a post uh independence thereafter over the period i know just now it told now, now it is 2013 is going on okay previously the lot of section now it was reduced okay compared to previous that is 1956 2013 I have less sections many sections are clubbed many sections are removed uh because the reputations the money many sections are updated okay the fines and all many things are changed okay it is keep on changes then forms of company there are many forms chartered chartered companies such statutory companies public limited companies private limited companies sole trader there are many classifications are there here we will discuss one by one uh here the private companies okay if it is private companies which are mentioned by the articles of association here there is a restriction to transfer of shares okay if i am running the business uh there are two people are running the business me and my, my friend both are running the business if the year person wants to transfer the share if the p person want to transfer transfer the share with consent of other persons otherwise it's not possible there is a restriction in transfer of shares then the limited number of members to 50 okay if it is private companies the maximum person the maximum uh, owner of the companies not more than 50 then uh, prohibit any invite to the public to subscribe for any shares or debentures of the companies if you are the private limited companies you not allowed to borrow anything from the general public for example in stock market uh, listed companies are there 
why it is listed companies because they are a public limited companies okay because of public limited companies only they have rights to issue the share to the general public if they don't have uh, public limited company status they are not allowed to uh, they are not allowed to transfer share to the other persons okay here uh, here very simple if it is a private limited companies there are a lot of restrictions you can't transfer the shares the limitations also 50 then you can't mobilize or you can't collect money uh, in form of shares or in form of debentures in the public limited companies it was restricted in case of pub, uh, public limited companies there is no restriction if it is private limited companies it is restrictions okay the private limited companies they can't be able to transfer the shares the members is also limited to 50 and also uh, it was prohibited that is not allowed to the private companies okay the private companies are not allowed to subscribe for any shares or images from the general publics this is about the futures of the uh, public uh, limited companies then characteristics of uh, private companies offer limited liabilities to protect their shareholders okay in india the unlimited liabilities was removed okay previously it was there now it is a limited liabilities okay for example if the company making losses of one crore okay that one crore need to settle from the companies only not from the personal personal money that is limited liabilities okay if it is unlimited liabilities means the members are need to pay the entire debt that is the unlimited liabilities okay in india it was restricted there is no more unlimited liabilities it's a limited liabilities why it is limited liabilities the liability to the company okay that only liabilities okay the li the company will not take any anything from the members okay then whereas public companies they can raise capital from the public okay just now i told now if you are public limited companies you can mobilize money from the general public there is no issues for example uh, many companies are listed in the stock exchanges okay the stock exchange com listed companies are called public limited companies why only public limited companies are allowed to list in the stock exchanges okay therefore what happened uh therefore what happened they only uh have that that is the reason i told that the companies what are listed in the stock exchanges those companies call uh public limited companies okay uh those companies they are allowed freely that means they need to get permission from the sebi they need to get permission from the stock exchanges okay they need to fix the authorized capital okay the company will not allow to beyond authorized capital that means the company can borrow up to authorized capital okay beyond the authorized capital the sebi stock exchanges are not allowed okay it was restricted okay then legal requirement and restrictions okay each forms of companies have separate legal requirement and restrictions regarding information management operations as prescribed by the company act okay for example if you want to start a business okay if your business is company if your business uh, is banking business okay in this case what happened you need to follow two regulations company act as well as uh, sebi regulation act why because because of your company natures okay your company is doing the banking business therefore you need to follow two regulators one is sebi second is a rbi sorry not sebi uh, one is a company act second one is a rbi act you need to come you need to follow both act rbi act, company act if you want to start a banking company then if you want to start insurance company then you need to follow the insurance uh, irda act insurance regulated development authority of india is there okay you need to follow ird act as well as uh, as well as the company act okay now you can understand na? here there are many legal requirements are there there are many restrictions are there okay if you are if you uh, if you are a normal company then uh, this is enough if you want to start any specific companies like trust uh, corporations mm -hmm uh then cooperative societies uh then uh, the sports company uh okay then banking insurance uh if you this specific kind of business then you need to follow the specific uh norms along with the company act then characteristics of the company here separate legal entity okay just now i told no? uh why it is called separate legal entity means uh by way of registration the company became an artificial person okay the company is treated as a uh difference uh, between uh 
shareholders and companies for example shareholders may come and go but the companies will not go anywhere okay that is a reason separate legal entity is nothing but it's became artificial person the company can buy and sell from its own name okay for example my name is Elon Kadir means I can purchase sales in my name Okay, the company also same rights okay the, i can purchase and sales uh, on company's name abc limited companies okay how it is possible because it's a separate legal entity then limited liabilities okay limited liabilities just now i told no? uh, in india what is only limited liabilities for example if i purchase a share the face value of face value of share is 10 rupees okay the face value of share is 10 rupees means i need to pay only 10 rupees not more than that okay that is a limited liabilities okay limited liabilities nothing same meaning okay here the face value is 10 rupees means uh, i need to pay only 10 rupees not more than that that is the uh, that is the uh, limited liabilities then perpetual uh, such, uh, succession okay here very simple the companies enjoy perpetual succession means uh, the existence is not affected by the changes in member for example my me and my friend okay me and my classmate five members have started the business one member suddenly passed or one member suddenly went to foreign so one member suddenly started new companies okay he uh, he uh, he, he is not interested in our companies in this cases we removed his name from the members okay but still the company is running therefore what happened changes in management it will not affect the companies okay a b c d now a b c e f g h i j k if added if removed it don't be any problem that is the reason it's a perpetual okay members can change but the company will exist okay it will not affect the companies then transfer of shares okay uh, shareholders of the companies can freely transfer their shares to others, okay, subject to restrictions imposed in the articles of associations, okay. If I purchase a share, if I purchase a shares, I can sell, okay, there is no uh, restrictions. But thing is that the bulk purchase bulk, uh, which are mentioned in the articles of association, uh, before that, you need to understand what is that. Okay, here, listen, the companies have two kind of uh, uh, articles. One is a member of association, articles of association. There are two uh, two concepts are there. Okay, both concepts are rules and regulations. Okay, for example, in, in member of association subject class, uh, one of the subject class is uh, capital class. Okay, here the capital class, if it is restricted transfer of shares and all, you can't transfer the shares. Okay, that much power having MOE, MOE and the AOE. Okay, we will discuss the next chapter is about MOE and the AOE. We will discuss. Okay, here, uh, here the shareholders. Okay, for example, if it is public limited companies, uh, we can buy, we can sell shares in the stock market without any restrictions. For example, I want to buy a uh, hundred shares. Okay, I can simply order hundred shares in the stock exchanges. Okay, that is a transfer of shares. Okay, there is no restrictions, but some restrictions are there. That are restrictions comes uh, because of MOA and AOA. We'll discuss what is MOA AOA in the next unit. Then the common sales. Okay, here I'm artificial. I'm a natural person. I'm signature. Okay, for example, my signature is like this, but the company uh, is not able to sign. It. It's a just a, uh, artificial persons there is no existence only in document only it was existence but physical ex existence is not there now here the common seal okay that is a signature of the company okay if the company is making any appointment any decisions definitely they need to fix this seal okay without seal we can uh, without seal it is not approval okay why because the common seal is signature of the companies if you want to do any changes in the companies definitely you need some signature okay which means the artificial person is also accepting the same things that is the meaning here a company uses common seal to execute the document and signi signify its approval okay here the company if it is approval once it was affects the common seals okay if there is no common seal then the decision will not be fulfilled then advantages of incorporations okay uh, here here before that you need to understand what is incorporations and all okay 
for example if you want to start the business you need to get certificate from the register of company roc simply it is called roc the person uh, designations okay uh, he verified your all the documents if he is satisfied he will give certificate of incorporations okay if you are the private company you need only one certificate that is certificate of incorporations then you can start your business activities there is no issues but if you want to start a public limited companies then you want to get additional certificate called certificate of commencement of business okay here once you got this certificate then only you can start the business as a public limited companies in case of private limited companies one certificate is needed that is a certificate of incorporations okay here we'll discuss what are the advantages of incorporations here the limited liabilities protections okay one of the most significant advantages of the incorporations limited liabilities which is shield the shareholders from personal liabilities for the company's debts and obligations okay here very simple if you if you uh if you register a company uh okay then it became a uh, company okay in case of public uh, private limited companies in case of private limited companies you need to two certificate okay why you want to incorporate your companies because if you borrow anything for companies it is belongs to companies not belongs to you which means if the companies fail to pay which means the company is not positioned to make any profit in this case what happened your personal uh asset will not claimed by the company's debt very simple if the company making continuous losses okay in this case what happened it will not affect your personal asset that is the advantages of the limited liability protections okay in this case what happened the legal legal entity is different the person is different okay if you borrow anything for companies it will accommodate only with companies not your personal assets then the ability to raise capital okay here once you became a company for example I am Elangadir. I want to raise the capital. Then there is no provisions. Okay, there is no. Uh, it is not legally right. Okay, if if I if uh, artificial person, that means uh, as a company, you can raise a capital from the general public. Okay, that means uh, for example, if you want to raise the capital, uh, you need collateral and all. But if it is company, the performance based capital you can raise. Okay, here the companies can raise by issuing shares to the investors, but we can't do like this, okay, uh, because we are not the companies, we are not the artificial persons, we don't have any kind of assets, okay, the company has some kind of assets, some kind of performance based on that, they can go for issues of shares to the investors. Then perpetual existence, here unlike partnership or sole trade concern, which are dissolved upon the death or withdrawal of their owners, companies enjoying the perpetual existence, okay, for I told, no? uh one person comes and goes one person passed one person uh withdraw whatever it is but the company will not affect it the company will run for longer period that is a perpetual existence <laughs> then tax benefit for example if you started a business in special economic zone okay uh in these cases uh, first five years you don't need to pay any tax okay you see these are the advantages okay the tax advantages I told uh, just now uh, the special economic zone, exam zone. Uh, there is a, uh, if you all over uh, India, the Tamil Nadu having more than 20, I think. I'm not exactly. Uh, Tamil Nadu only having highest number of special economic zone. Here, what is this advantage of special economic zone? If you started any business in the special economic zone, you will get tax exemption for five days. Thereafter, tax holidays, uh, then the subsidies. There are many benefits will be given by the car. Uh, government to companies if you started business in special economic zone okay we can avail this kind of tax benefit from the uh, governments okay which helps also uh, growth of the uh, companies and also the many people they invested okay for example you are earning 100 rupees okay if you are started business in a special economic zone first five years there is no tax that means the entire 100 rupees belongs to the shareholders okay if the same amount of profit if you are generated in non special economic zone in this cases 100 rupees means 30 percent tax then the shareholders will enjoy only 70 rupees not 100 rupees that is the advantages of special economic zones okay then creditability and prestige okay here incorporation enhance the creditability and prestige of the business making it more attractive to investors customers and business partners for example uh, we all says many things okay the carpet companies are doing this much that much okay we they exploding under 
but there is a uh, indirect ways we can enjoy the uh, we can claim or benefit by of buying the shares okay buying the shares also we can get indirect benefit okay whatever things they are getting from the uh, society we can also get from the companies by way of by way of buying the shares and all okay that is the thing then conversion of private limited companies to public limited companies first of all why you want to convert your private limited companies into public limited companies there are many reasons okay for example if you are the private limited companies you don't have rights to uh, raise any capital it may be equity it may be debentures you don't have raise capital from the general public okay that is restriction to the private limited companies if you converted your private limited companies into public limited companies then you don't have any issues you can go for uh, <clears throat> you can go for share issues and all that is the main things okay we'll discuss one by one the process of legal requirement the conversion of public limited companies into private limited uh, private limited companies into public limited companies there are many steps first one we need to get approval from the shareholders then they need to alter the uh, company's articles of association once they are done thereafter they compelling with the regulation requirement prescribed by the company act okay here first two one uh, they need to uh, get approval from the shareholders once the shareholders approval uh, then i have told now the companies have two uh, kind of regulations inter regulation external regulations one is member of association second one is articles of association they have to alter the uh this articles of association okay otherwise what happen the share shares are not freely transfer okay then uh, other regulatory compliance with uh company act they have to fulfill that is a legal requirement once they fulfill they apply to the rest of the companies uh, they give notice they ask prospectors they are seeing some issues of shares and all once they are happy then they give the certificate call public limited companies the reason for conversions why uh, they are necessary they're going for conversion the private limited companies into public limited companies there are many things the first one uh, if the companies have may have option to convert uh, from public limited private limited to public limiters why because here wider pool of capital that means they have a lot of chances to mobilize money from the general publics and they enhance the liquidity of shareholders okay in case of share if you buy shares from the share market you can sell there are many provisions okay with a fraction of a second if you if you place this sales order we can able to sell immediately that is the liquidities liquidities of shareholders okay the next one the meet regulatory requirement for listing on stock exchanges if you are the private limited companies you can't be able to list in the stock exchanges only public limited companies are listed in the stock exchanges okay these are the reasons for conversion of private limited companies into public limited companies okay here the conversion may impact the rights and obligation of the shareholders and management including changes in the governance structures disclosure requirement and complaints obligations okay here I don't think it is easy to convert the private limited companies into public limited companies there are many processes are there okay they need to go for uh, almost it will take more time okay why they are doing just now we discussed there are some advantages if it is private limited companies okay that is the reason they are going for private lim public limited companies for that purpose they need to change in the uh, management they need to change in the corporate governance they need to change in the uh, requirements uh, like disclosures compli uh, complaints applications all those things they need they need to do otherwise uh, what happen it will not be uh, success then the formation of companies uh, promotion stages okay first they need to identify the business opportunities okay then once they identify the opportunities the promoter uh, uh, they took all the steps okay uh, here the promoters identify the uh, viable business opportunities and assess the market demand for the product and services we can't start the business without the market research okay we need to study the market whether this product is uh, expect this product is accepted by by the longer period or it's a short uh, it's a short or one time purchases there are many things we need to discuss okay the second is a market research and feasibility studies that also done by the promoters then assembling the promoters the promoter assemble the teams of individual with complying the skills and expert to facilitate the formation and growth of the companies everything okay here everything is done by the promoters okay 
then the pre incorporation contract liabilities all those things okay that is a proprietor may enter into contract on behalf of proposed companies before its incorporation okay here he will took all the risk okay he will took all the risk okay why because uh, without uh, incorporations he will do all the arrangement which is from his personal liabilities therefore he took all the efforts okay here the formation of companies done by the promoters initially what happened he studied identified the business opportunities then he done the market research finally the assembling the promoters then he will do all the duties which are pre incorporations once the post incorporation that will be different the expenditures okay there are many accounts are there uh, that means accountability also is there if you are going for um each and every expenditures for example if the companies that made some expenditures initially that expenditures are uh, pre incorporation expenditures okay that's not comes under into the companies there are many uh, complications are there okay everything is done by himself <laughs> then incorporation of companies okay first two one articles of association the articles of association contain rules and regulations governing the internal management and operation of the business okay here i told na uh, there is a rules and regulations for example the code of conduct okay that is a uh, similar type the articles of association is uh, containing rules and regulations which are governing the internal management and operations of the companies including rights duties of the shareholders directors officers it's a set of rules and regulations for internal management okay that is articles of association uh, for example the working hours powers duties then uh, protection compensation wages then everything okay each and everything they mention in the articles of association then the promoters responsibilities and duties the promoters are uh, any one of you it's audible no yes sir oh yes thank you sir if you have any doubt you can unmute and ask no issues okay here the first one is article suffers association it's a rules and regulations for internal management then the promoters responsibilities and duties here the promoters are responsible for preparing and filing the necessary document for incorporations okay here i have some ideas okay i don't know how to convert ideas into business i don't also i don't know how to form the companies here the promoter is a person who helping you okay that is means they convert your idea into business and also they convert that uh, is that means like how to form the companies he will do everything okay the first person of the company is the promoter okay the promoter responsibility what he will do he will prepare and filing the necessary document of for incorporations once incorporation then it became artificial person they can do anything but thing is that before incorporation uh, everything they need to access by its name your name there are many uh, complications are there okay once you be established as a company no more complications okay then registration process with the register of companies okay the promoters you need to submit moa that is a member of association aoe that is articles of association and other legal other required document to be register of companies for registrations okay roc okay if you want to start the companies uh, then you need to submit moa aoa and other document related to the registration you need to submit to the register of the companies he will verify and he will do the he will he will issue the uh, certificate of incorporations once he satisfied with your document and all okay otherwise they will he will not issues okay these steps was initiated by the promoter okay then memorandum of association okay Uh, it's a set of fourth the company name, registration office, objectives, address, capital, all those things. Uh, um, in case of articles of association, you can alter it by ordinary resolution. But in case of member of association, you need some special type of res special resolution to uh, alter anything in the MOE. Okay, that much complicated book is MOE. MOE they can alter no issues, but MOE it's very difficult to alter. That's what happened. at the time of registration itself you need to uh, check everything then registration and inviting subscriptions okay uh, public announcement and in invitations the public companies are issued the prospectus inviting the public to subscribe for share ca shares are given just okay once your company uh, is turned into turned from private limited companies to public limited companies <coughs> sorry once your company is converted from private limited companies to public limited companies the first thing we need to do invite the 
uh, invite the uh, general public to subscribe the shares or debentures first shares okay for example you are issuing 100 shares okay if it is more than 100 share that is over subscription if it is under the uh, under share that is under subscriptions okay okay if you're not achieving the minimum subscription that is 90 percentage for example okay for example if you not achieve the 90 percent if you're not able to sell 90 shares out of 100 shares then you need to repay the money to the shareholders okay that is the uh, conditions okay if you want to if you want to uh, be a public limited company, you need to fix the price very carefully. Why? Because if you are not able to achieve the normal subscription, then you have to repay the money. Okay. For subscription, that is product allotment. There are many things are there. But if it is under subscription, you need to return the money. If you fail, you need to return the money with the interest uh, after the time limit. Okay. That much complications. The allotment of shares, okay, uh, upon uh, uh, receiving the application of shares, the company board of directors evaluate and approve the allotment of shares to the subscribers, okay. For example, if it is under shares, but the invitations came for 200 shares. In this case, the person who are all applying for two shares, they are going to get one shares. This kind of decision is taken in the board of, uh, board of meetings, okay. That is, uh, once they finalize, they will allot the shares. Then compliance with the securities laws and regulations, okay, here. Uh, just know I told you, if you want to issue share to the general public, then your company should be public limited companies, which means uh, uh, you need to get the process of uh, converting private to public limited companies. Once you public limited companies, then you have to apply in the listing process like stock exchanges like in the NSCBACs are there. Apart from this, 24 regional exchanges also is there. Okay, once you listed, then you will get permission from the SEBI, stock exchanges. Okay, once everything is complained, then you can go for that. Okay, this much complications are there. <laughs> then filing document with ROC. Okay, the company files the required uh, document including MOA, AOA and prospectus with the ROC for registration approval. Okay. If you are if you are going for share issues, okay. Okay, if you are listed companies, you need to get permission from the stock exchanges, SEBI. Okay, your issue will not go beyond the authorized capital. Okay, then what happened? You need to prepare the prospectus. Okay, the prospectus, uh, you need to get approved from the SEBI uh, stock exchanges, sometimes both. Okay, once you got, then you have to apply to register of companies. Okay, along with the prospectus. Okay. Uh, MOA, MOA, AOA, and prospectus. Then, register of, certificate, register of companies will grow through the document. Okay, if you find any fault, you will ask for clarifications. Uh, if he uh, satisfied, then what happened? Uh, then they go for registration and approval. That is different. Okay, this is the uh, process for uh, share issues and all. Okay. Then the commencement of certificate, okay, commencement of business. Uh, I told you, if you want to start a business, if you are the public limited companies, you need only one certificate. If you want to start a private limited companies, then you need to get two certificates. The certificate of commencement of business only for public limited companies. Okay, here the company issues declaration of commencement, stating that all requirement for incorporation has been compliant with, uh, that is ready to commence the business activities. Okay, that is the commencement then obtaining certificate of commencement okay the public companies must obtain certificate of commencement of business from the roc that is register of companies before commencing the business activities if you want to run it as a public limited companies you need to get the certificate from the register of the companies otherwise the commencement of business is not allowed okay it was restricted then commencement of business which is statutory time framework the companies must uh, the companies must commence business operation with a specific time frame as prescribed by the company act fails which they may face penalties or other re uh, regulatory consequences okay here uh, i just know i told you they always uh, there is a loss okay if you if you want to start the business you, uh, you need to do by legally if you want to close the business that also need to do legally okay in between if you are not done anything then that also uh, comes under uh, finable offense only okay then the consequences of non-compliance okay if you fail to comply with the statute recommend for commencement of business may result in legal sanction including fine 
uh, the prosecutions of the officers are uh, even winding up of the company. So if you not follow this process, then your company also closed. Okay, this is about the sixth unit. Okay, uh, sixth unit. Uh, we discussed the company act, then forms of companies, the characteristics of companies, advantages of incorporations, the conversion of public limited companies to private limited companies, then formation of companies also discussed the promotions. Okay, also discussed incorporation, registrations, innovating subscription, commencement of business. All those things we discussed. We have any doubt regarding any topic of the 60 unit? You have any doubt? No, sir. Then we'll move on to the seventh. I think today is the fourth class. We have only one class remaining. Okay. You see, the seventh unit is about the MOA articles of association prospectus. Okay, these are the things we are going to discuss in the unit seven. Okay, first one memorandum of association. Memorandum of association is a legal document that contains the fundamental condition upon which companies incorporate. Okay, just now we discussed now there are two types of documents that companies are maintained for their management. One is MOE, Member of Association. Here, uh, six classes are there, okay. Uh, uh, name class, capital class, like that, the classes are available. Thereafter, uh, in case of article association, it's an internal management. Okay, here the memorandum of association, nothing but it's a legal document which contains the fundamental conditions upon the companies as incorporated. Okay, here name class, registered five classes, name class, uh, registration class, objective classes, liability classes, and capital classes. In case of name classes, they specify the name of the companies. Okay, here if my name is Ilangadi, someone may Ilangadi, no issues. But in case of artificial person, it will not uh, permitted. Okay, the name should be only one. Okay, therefore, what happened? Uh, if you want to register name, if you want to register company as Selengadir and Co, if already is there, means their name will not be given to you. Okay, you have to specific the name. Okay, the name which should not already existing in the uh, members book. Then registration office classes. We need to indicate in the registration office address of the companies. Then object class. Here, describe the main objectives for which the company is formed. Okay, what, for, what is the objectives? We have to mention in the objective classes. Then the liability classes. Here, we have to state the liability of the members, whether it's a limited or unlimited. Uh, now, it is limited only. There is no unlimited. Okay. Then capital class. Here, they need to specify the authorized share capital of the companies. Okay. What is authorized capital means? The company can borrow up to authorized capital, not beyond the authorized capital. For example, ABC Limited Companies MO stated that its object include manufacturing and selling electronic devices. Therefore, the company cannot engage in activities beyond the scope without altering the MOE. Okay, here the example is the company started, the MOE stated that they need to do only manufacturing and selling of electronic devices. If they want to perform beyond the, that, they need to they need to do uh, corrections, they need to do uh, alterations in the uh, in the a member of associations without that they can't do any other which means you are limited okay that is scope is limited if you want to go beyond the scope you need to alter the mou the moa then ultra is either very simple okay if the companies performed and act beyond the objectives outline the mou okay for example doctrine of ultra very simple uh you MOE says that you need to do only manufacture of chips. If you want to do anything beyond, okay, that is restricted on the MOE, MOE. Okay, therefore, it became a void. If you are making any contract, for example, my company is only manufacturer of textile. Okay, if I enter contract uh, for supply of cement, okay, it is not entertained. Okay, therefore, it should be, it, it became a void or unenforceable. 
okay if you are doing any business activities beyond the moa then it became void all those things we need to do we need to do take care then impact of company uh, company actions either act beyond the mou or consider as ultra virus may result in legal consequences okay that's what happened as a company what you are mentioned in mou mou we need to follow only in mou okay if you want to do beyond that we need to alter the mou okay without the without alteration if you are doing by your own then we can't do anything because it's became a void contract there are many legal complications will comes then exemptions and limitations the court have recognized certain exemptions to ultra uh, incident such as incidentally to the main objectives of activity to ratify the shareholders okay sometimes they may deviate it but after uh, sometimes they comes to okay some exemptions some limitations also is there beyond the limitations beyond the scopes only problem then articles of association here articles of associations are internal regulation governing the management and administration of the companies okay it's an internal document okay here what are the things contained in the aoa share capital class management class meeting class voting rights class okay these are all the few things which contains the aoa okay for example uh, AOA stipulated this directors must hold quarterly board meeting and the decisions require majority votes. For example, in AOA says that see every three months they need to meet. Uh, they need to meet. Uh, that is a board of studies meeting. Okay, there uh, if you want to pass any resolutions, they need to get minority or majority or three fourth or one fourth or fifty one percentage, whatever they mentioned in the AOA, they have to fulfill. If they are not fulfilled, then it should then uh, the meeting is uh, accepted but the decision will not be accepted okay okay if you are proposing something means you need to get the majority otherwise it will not be implemented in the companies that is the aoa then difference between moa and aoa the moa focus on companies external relationships okay uh, includes its objectives powers okay but whereas in uh, aoa only internal okay aoa governs the company's internal management operations okay there are two different books that do different different things moa which deals with external aoa which deals with internal okay both are set of rules and regulations only here moa external relation and objectives okay the moa defined the company's objectives and its capacity to act in relations to third parties such as customers suppliers and customers okay creditors okay on this aspect but whereas in aoa it's internal management and operations here aoa set of rules and procedures for internal governance of the companies including role responsibility of the director shareholders decision making okay here aoe it's about the internal persons the manager members employees shareholders directors okay all those things are uh, all those things are uh, incorporated in the AOE. MOE is about external. Here, suppliers, customers, creditors, all the people are outsiders. Okay, if you are the outsider, you need to go, you need to go with MOE. If you are the insider, you need to go with M AOE. Then the prospectus. The prospect is nothing but it's a information. So okay, if you are going for share issues and all, you need to prepare the prospectus. In prospectus, what other things are there? Means everything is there except their business secret. All other things are there the name, board of directors, companies, entity starter, financial statement, financial analysis, financial uh, performance, uh, everything. Okay, the future plan, the current sales, everything. Okay, all the things are mentioned except their business uh, strategies, except their business secrets confidential only not revealed in the prospectus other things are revealed in the prospectus okay here the prospect is a legal document issued by the companies okay it is issued by the companies why because they are inviting the public to subscribe for its shares and document okay for example uh you are going for loan okay you are going for loan uh as an individual i'm asking loan from banks okay what they will do they will ask collateral securities na? which means if they fail to pay then they will get some compensation by based on my collateral securities okay but the companies is different na? the companies uh, how they are mobilizing money means based on the performance 
okay for example now the tata reliance these companies are making money okay ha, okay these companies are making money okay how we are seeing that by we are they are seeing the prospectus that the balance sheet profit and loss account by this way we can identify these companies are making profit but we have to identify some hidden agenda also how much depth they have okay, how much loan they have all those things we need to see okay that is about the uh prospect as the prospect is nothing but okay it's a it's a progress report like it's a, like, like a progress report of the companies okay here the, if you are the number one okay that means based on tamil english math science and all like that uh, companies performance companies borrowings companies growth there are many parameters if you be, if you are showing your progress report then what happened the people find out whether you are a Topper or middle, middle or uh, low, low or uh, under the okay, they can identify same kind. Okay, the prospectus they can tell you everything. Okay, need for issuing the prospectus the company issue prospectus to raise the capital from the public by offering shares. Okay, if you are if you are going for share issues, okay, if you are going to borrow from the general public, the conditions very simple you need to uh, prepare the prospectus before issuing the share. The prospectus also need to issue. Okay, if you see the many companies they are advertised in the uh, advertised in the uh, newspapers and all they are going for share issues and all the prospectors without approval of prospectors the companies are not allowed to issue shares. Okay, the prospectors is uh, reviewed by the pro uh, rest of the companies, uh, stock exchanges, SEBIs. Okay, once the information is right, then only uh, the people authorized your prospectus okay without authorized prospectus if you are issuing to the general public again you are going to face uh, legal complications okay therefore what happened that is the reason the prospectus plays a major role when they are going for share issues okay in prospectus we can identify all the factors all the facts and figures of the companies okay then regulatory requirements for issuing the prospectus okay here issuing prospectus entitled company with company act okay that is register of the companies okay we need to give a copy to register of the companies second one securities board of india okay we need to copy to say sab as well as stock exchanges and other relevant law governing securities offers okay if it is bank stock means they need to give it to the rbi act also okay here very simple uh here the prospectus which contains all the informations of the companies okay like a progress card okay in progress card we can identify the person ability in the same kind okay here the company is going for share issues okay based on the prospectus we can identify whether it is good company or bad company once we identify we can go for share uh, share purchase and all for that purpose it was used okay we will stop here okay is there any doubt Okay. Okay, if you don't have any doubt, then no issues. We will end up the today's section. Thank you so much. Is there any doubt? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, we will discuss uh, in the next class. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.
गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग एम आई ऑडिबल ओके सो लेट शेयर स्क्रीन नाउ is the screen is visible now yes sir okay yes sir yesterday i was discussing about uh, questions on final accounts do you have any doubts final accounts can we go to the next concept hello yes yes sir okay fine so the next one is receipts and payments account and income and expenditure account concept uh, that the other one what you prepared final accounts it is based on the accrual concept receipts and payments account and income and expenditure account generally it is prepared for not for profit organization like ngo or educational institution charitable institutions such kind of organization they'll prepare receipts and payments account or income and expenditure account here the receipts and payment accounts are prepared based on the cash system of accounting so what cash system of accounting says is the income should be entered in the books of accounts as and when it is received and the payment should be entered in the books of accounts as and when it is paid okay not on the due basis it is recorded on the basis of payment basis or receipt basis but when it comes to accrual concept of accounting irrespective of the payment you made or irrespective of the receipts you receive we are going to record in the books of accounts only for that particular period of time so based on that receipts and payments account it is simple it is a simplified way of cash book so in cash book we take all uh, on the debit side we take all the receipts and credit side we write, record all the payments so based on the real account rule we follow debit what comes in credit what goes out okay so here when you look at the first problem prepare a receipts and payments account of the pondicherry recreation club from the following particulars taken out from the cash book of the club they have given you a opening balance okay so when you pre prepare a receipts and payment account as i told you debit side start with opening balance then we record all the receipts that is cash in hand cash at bank all the receipts admission fees donation sale of old sports material investments realized here we don't bifurcate any capital or revenue okay so irrespective of the capital or revenue just we look into how much is the receipt what is the payment that's all we are going to record in the books of accounts okay i hope you understood this problem whatever the debit balance and credit balance you have generally that will be taken as closing balance of cash yeah any doubts no sir okay so followed by the next one is income and expenditure account as i told you it is prepared based on the accrual concept of accounting so we record all the outstanding expenses pertaining to the current previous year let's say you are preparing books of accounts for the year 2023 24 2020 24 
whatever the income or whatever the payments you made for 23 24 only will be recorded in the books of accounts okay here these are some of the <laughs> capital assets the interest fee subscription life membership donations are capital in income and expenditure account we record only revenue items we don't record a capital items okay just a minute So income and expenditure account, as I told you, we are not going to record any kind of capital expenditure or revenue expenditure. We will record only the payments and receipts which is pertaining to the current period that is 23-24, irrespective of it is paid or received. So based on that rule only, we are going to add all the outstanding and we need to deduct all the prepaid. Now let us try to understand the first question. From the following information, prepare an income and expenditure account for the period ending 30th June 1993. Capital fund is given that we don't take, drawings we don't take, sundry investments, then loss on sale of investment, reserve for fluctuation, dividend interest received, reserve for taxation, depreciation, rent received, rent receivable, sundry creditors, deposits interest received, cash at bank properties. In the adjustment, they say that market value of investments at 30th June 1993 was 124,000 and the reserve is to be increased to cover full fall in price. They're asked us to prepare an income and expenditure account and a balance sheet. So when you're preparing an income and expenditure account, as I told you, we are going to consider only the revenue receipts and the revenue payments. We don't consider the capital receipts or the capital payments. So based on that, the first one, you have profit on sale of investment, which is considered as an income. That's why we have taken on the credit side. Loss on sale of investment, that is considered expenses, we have taken on the debit side. Dividend interest received, credit side, because it is an income. Say so income and expenditure account is prepared based on the nominal account rule. I hope you know what is the rule of nominal account. So the rule of nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. So based on this principle, we prepare income and expenditure account. Okay. A depreciation, as it is an expenses, we take on the debit side, rent received and rent receivable. Both rent received is 1,600 that we take on the credit side. Then sundry credit as goes to balance sheet, deposit interest received. That also you should take it on the asset side. Cash at bank, asset, properties, asset. So based on that, we prepare an income and expenditure account. If debit is more than the credit, then it is a loss. That is excess of expenditure over income. If credit is more than the debit, then that is profit. That is also called a surplus. Okay. Then followed by the balance sheet. So in balance sheet, we take all the assets and all the liabilities. So first and starting from cash at bank, sundry investments, rent receivables, properties. On the liability side, capital fund, drawings, excess of expenditure. See, if you get, like, uh, I hope you know when you are preparing final accounts, first we used to take opening capital, add net profit, add additional capital, deduct drawings. So based on that only, we prepare here also. Clear? So what does sundry investments mean? Sundry investments means it is an investment made by an organization. So when you look at the problem, third point, sundry investments. So how much investment? 1,55,000. The same 1,55,000 we have taken. 
clear yes sir if you have a material just go through with this problem i'll give you two minutes okay go through with this if you have any doubts you can clarify Students, do you have any questions? With regards to the previous question, do you have any question? Uh, yes, sir. How the investment fluctuation reserve has come? 7,000. Investment fluctuation reserve. See here, when you look at that... Uh, the problem, the beginning, what is the value of investments? 1,55,000, sundry investments, right? The market value of investments is 1,24,000, correct, no? And uh, when you look at the reserve for fluctuation on investments in the question, you have how much? 24,000 you have. Are you following? Yes, sir. Okay. Now that 1,24 plus reserve for fluctuation investments 24, if you add how much you will get? 1,24,000 plus 24,000. 1,48,000. 1, How much is the sundry investments value now in the question? 1,55,000. So 1,55,000 minus 1,48,000. How much is the balance? 7,000, right? That 7,000 which has been increased. That is what the additional reserve they have added 7,000 rupees. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes. Any other doubts? Okay, so moving further, here in this question, they have given you the receipts and payments account and the adjustment from which they ask us to prepare income and expenditure account and balance sheet. Okay, so first one opening balance cash in hand cash at bank from the receipts and payments account, you need to consider only the revenue items to the income and expenditure account. All the capital items will not come that goes to balance sheet. Okay. So opening cash at bank, cash in hand, that is required to find out the opening capital. See, in the working note, they are given calculation of capital fund at the beginning. So for calculation of that, you need opening. By using all the opening details, we, you, we calculate the opening capital fund. Okay. Then uh, we take all the revenue items and the revenue expenses and the revenue assets to income and expenditure account the rest goes to balance it just go through have a look on this question if you have any doubt you can ask me Do you have any doubts in this question?
वेस्ट नहीं रहने आ रही क्या वेस्ट वाटर इंडर वाटर लगे एनी डाउट स्टूडेंट्स If I have any queries, you can ask. If not, if you say yes, I'll go to the next concept. No doubt, sir. Okay, we'll move further. The other problems you can solve by yourself. All these questions. Then we'll move to the next concept: the depreciation accounting. so depreciation what is depreciation so depreciation means decrease in the value of an asset due to use constant use wear and tear etc okay and to replace that as an asset at the end of useful life so they need some fund okay that fund creation is only which is nothing but depreciation okay so every year a certain percentage of amount kept aside or it will be invested in some investments so once the asset comes to an end of the useful life they are going to replace such asset by using the fund which is available in the depreciation okay so here the concept of depreciation is closely linked to the concept of business income see uh, the best example why we have to charge depreciation because uh, generally when you are fixing price for any kind of commodity we consider all the expenses what we made like salary paid to the wages or raw materials purchase whatever the money we spend we are going to consider it as a cost at the same time you are going to use an asset also in the process of manufacturing right so such asset cannot be charged as the full amount to the cost because it is a capital expenditure so that's why what they do they calculate certain percentage of depreciation and that year depreciation will be considered for calculating the cost or for fixing the price for such product okay now when you look at the causes of depreciation the causes are wear and tear exhaustion obsolescence efflux of time accidents these are different causes or reasons for charging depreciation okay so when it comes to depreciation accounting what is the objective of providing depreciation the first one is calculation of profit to calculate the profit they charge depreciation presentation of true and fair financial statements okay then replacement of as an asset as i told you earlier to replace an asset also they will charge the depreciation okay then what are the different factors which will affect depreciation one is the cost of the asset you need to while charging depreciation these are the different factors where you are supposed to consider one is the cost of the asset what is the cost the actual cost the purchase cost of an asset and what is the estimated scrap value the scrap value means at the end of useful life the asset will uh, give you a fetch you or some amount as a scrap that one then what is the estimated useful life let's say the asset can be used for 5 years or 10 years or 15 years okay then what are the different methods of charging depreciation the first one is fixed installment method diminishing balance method which is also called as return down value method sum of the years method annuity method sinking fund method insurance policy revaluation depletion machine over it these are the different methods of charging depreciation properly we used fixed installment or straight line method and diminishing balance method these two methods which is popularly used the other method based on the nature of the asset and the based on the nature of an organization they are going to choose under fixed installment method how do we calculate depreciation cost of the asset minus scrap value divided by estimated life let's say the cost is 50000 the scrap is 5000 50000 minus 5000 45000 divided by 10 so it will be 4500 like that we charge the depreciation So there is one illustration. ABC Limited purchases a machinery for a sum of forty-eight thousand on first January nineteen ninety. Installation charges are three thousand. The machinery is estimated to have a scrap value of one thousand at the end of its useful life of five years. You are required to prepare the machinery account for five years, charging depreciation according to straight line method. So first we should calculate, as I told you, 
you need to calculate the depreciation by using the formula the formula goes like this original cost of the asset plus any kind of installation charges which has been incurred minus scrap value the original cost is 48000 the installation charges is 3000 so 48 plus 3 that equals to 51 minus 1000 divided by 5 so 51000 minus 1000 by 5 that is equal to 10000 the 10000 what we are going to charge depreciation every year so first entry to bank account whatever the cost of the asset which you have purchased and then installation charges and credit side which are depreciation then we carry forward the balance to the next year so for how many years you need to charge like this you need to charge for the entire life of the machine which is going to be five years at the end of the fifth year the debit will be equal to credit the asset comes to an end okay do you have any doubts in this no sir okay then comes with the diminishing balance method or return down value method as per income tax law as per the other laws and all they say return down value method is preferable for calculating the depreciation so uh, the return down value method the another name is reducing balance method as the name says reducing balance the depreciation keeps on reducing year by year under straight line method it is constant that's why it is called as fixed installment method but under diminishing balance method as the year goes on the depreciation keeps on coming down that's why it is called as diminishing balance method or written down value method okay see the question illustration when you see cosmos enterprises limited acquired a machine on first january at a cost of 50, 18 thousand installation charges 2000 18 plus 2 that is equal to 20 how much the firm is charging depreciation 10 percent so 10 percent of 20,000 is going to be 2000 so you are going to charge 2000 every year just go through with this question Do you have any doubts in this method? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, next one is sum of digits method. Here, uh, this method is also a pattern of diminishing balance. But under this method, the dip amount of depreciation to be charged to profit and loss goes on decreasing every year. And how do we calculate here is remaining life of the asset, including the current year, into original cost divided by sum of all the digits of the life of the assets. It is a kind of retained on value, but they're not exactly WDV. Say, for example, if the cost of an asset is 10,000 and it has an effective life of five years, the amount of depreciation to be written off each year, they have calculated like this. Say, how many years so you have the life? Five years. So, one plus two plus three plus four plus five. So, that comes to 15. So, five by 15 into 10,000. How much you will get first year? 3,333. Second year, 10,000 into 4 by 15. Third year, 10,000 into 3 by 15. Fourth year, 10,000 into 2 by 15. And the last year is 1 by 15. Okay. Yes. The next one is annuity method. Here, I, under annuity method, we will consider the time value of money. Okay. The three methods discussed above ignore the interest factor, but here, this method will consider the interest factor. The annuity method takes care of this factor. Under this method, the depreciation is charged on the basis that besides losing the original cost of the asset, and the business also loses interest on the amount used for buying that asset. So that's why they are going to consider the annuity factor here based on the interest factor. Okay. So here the entry is on purchase of an asset. The entry goes asset account data to bank account. 
for charging depreciation asset to interest for charging depreciation depreciation to asset just to what you should do is you need to multiply the cost of the asset with the annuity factor to get the depreciation clear any doubts so do you have any doubts in this sir in the illustration where is that 0.2820 coming from that you need to calculate pa annuity method 5% you should calculate generally in the question they'll give oh 5 divided by 1 point rate divide r by 1 plus r to the power of n that is the formula we use but in the exam they'll mention what is the annuity value that you need not to calculate okay sir the next method is sinking fund or depreciation fund method what is the sinking fund or depreciation fund method is every year a certain amount whatever you charge the depreciation that will be invested in outside some investment okay so here the in case of four method discussed earlier the amount of depreciation charge from profit and loss account continues to remain in the business but this amount may get invested in all sorts of assets in course of running the business thus making it difficult to buy new asset in place of old one so depreciation fund method takes care of such contingency because uh, based on the inflation rate and all the cost of the asset might increase right so according to this method the amount charged by way of depreciation is invested in a readily saleable securities carrying a certain rate of interest like a short term investments or some marketable securities they are going to invest okay so based on the interest what they get on that they charge the depreciation for that there are few journal entries at the end of first year at the end of subsequent accounting year at the end of the last year but here the important methods of calculating depreciation is you need to understand wdb method straight line method annuity method those three are very important along with that the sinking method you should know the journal entries okay do one thing i'll give you a 5 minutes time just go through with this question okay if you have any doubt you can ask me it is just a, you need to know the journal entries based on the journal entries only we are going to calculate the depreciation nothing else here under the sinking fund method only they'll give you the interest rate based on that we will charge it okay just go through with this question i'll give you 5 minutes of time once it is done just if you have any doubts post a message in the group that uh, chat box i'll reply okay okay sir hmm. okay sir hello
Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Any doubts? No, sir. No, sir. Question which uh, Arya, go through with the question, okay? Excellent, Amma. Pitilan. Ada aling guna tu, Amma kelas tu.
Sir, I am going to go. Sir, when we are going to have our exam, sir? My exam thing, I don't know. Sorry, sir, your voice is not audible. Exam is the university official only. Okay, sir. Okay. To clarify all your doubts. Sir, your voice is not clear. I'll give some time to clarify the doubts now. If you have any doubts related to that, you can ask, okay? Class of law. What? Hello? Any doubts? No doubts. Others who have made the yeah, top, you can ask. No, sir. I send the or not okay. Now, else, sir. And I said, Tommy, you are a Tommy. Hello. Thank you. 
Next class, we have to start from the beginning.
क्लास हो रहा क्लास हो रहा सर सर वन तमाम गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून सर 
Good afternoon, sir. I just got late with the class. Sir, not very worried. I'll just share, share the uh, slides with you. From seven. I'm not able to build top definition. In the class or not, sir? Sir, the screen is not visible. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing, sharing. Just two minutes. Okay, okay, sir. Can you see my screen? No, sir. No, sir. No. Now, okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. So, Maybe. I'll give a pressure for you people because you are in BCOM. I'll give a pressure for you people. In the unit one, we studied about the business cycle. What is a business cycle is about? Business cycle is nothing but you are going to run a business where you are going to invest. Your money is needed. Either a loan or you are going to invest in production costs. Then finally you are going to sell that particular product what you have manufactured. That is the business cycle. So in the business... <coughs> Excuse me. In the business cycle, we have four different uh, segmentations. That is growth, peak, recession and depression. In this, we are going to talk about the pricing strategy. Okay. During growth season, what I am going to fix the price. During peak, what I, I will fix the price. During recession, what I will fix the price. Uh, and during depression, what I'll fix the price. Are there any home cookers here in the group? Home cookers, home bakers, any product? No, no, no. Any, yeah, thank you. Any product which you're doing online, staying at home? Okay. Fine. If anybody who is from uh, home cookers, definitely they will face uh, they will face all these uh, growth peak, recession, and the depression. So during the startup of the business, if one or two orders come, it is going to be your growth. Then in the peak, definitely you are not going to balance between the different orders which has been placed that is your peak and recession and depression again because of this peak you will be able to go for the recession now 
uh, i'll just uh, share you one of the uh, previous image which i have got uh, previous image which i have got from uh, the web page i'll just share you that one the dhl everybody is know everybody knows about the dhl right dhl careers i'll just share you this one for the history you can write this example also okay you can just see this particular uh, contessa car right over here everybody would have seen that one contessa like a plymouth contessa car they started four different uh, friends started this dhl door to door using this contessa car and uh, and they flourished all over the globe right now they are the pioneer in distributing the materials starting from one location to the other location so so in this particular aspect when they started the business they started with a single contessa car they just distributed all the letters and other things door to door and they started to flourish around the globe now you can just see right over here this is approximately around the globe uh, they are distributing each nook and corner they are distributing their material so in a business when you start up a business it is the growth stage and it is in the peak the same consistency has to be maintained for us to run the business as such business as such if we are not able to concentrate upon this particular peak stage definitely there is going to be a recession and again there will be a depression again there will be a depression for the particular business so in this aspect unit 1 covers about business cycle pricing strategy unit 2 talks about the demand theory then that demand theory one important thing which you have to remember is when price goes up your quantity will be coming or it will be traveling along with or when your price goes up your quantity also should increase so when your price goes down your quantity also should decrease so this is the common theory behind the law of demand but vice versa is also compatible as i said the x-rays example regarding your rolls royce cars and then unit 3 talks about exclusively supply when talking about the supply consumer be, consumer behavior and as well as your elasticity of forecasting so when you will supply when there is a consumer demand when there is a consumer demand there is an option for your consumer behavior also when there is a consumer behavior definitely the company is going to forecast what will be the required material for the next season or next periodical session so that is what we are going to talk about in the unit 3 now when talking about unit 4 we are exclusively going to talk about the intermediary position of the supply and demand which is nothing but the production can you all hear me yes sir okay now 
when talking about production suppose any kind of a business which needs a raw material a raw material if it is available i'll be going for the production of the particular product okay i'll be going for the particular product for the production so what kind of a production i'm going to do how effectively i'm going to do effectively means cost cutting as well as your time these are the things excuse me can you hear me yes can you hear me yes sir yes sir can you hear me yes sir yes sir. yeah 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 yes, i'll just sir. when talking about the intermediary position of demand and supply so ultimately i got my demand number of requirements of the particular product and i am planning for this particular supply so in between this i'll be having my production how much should i produce to require this particular demand as well as this particular supply so in this aspect what i'm going to see is what is the theory which is behind this particular production so in the theory behind the production what i'm going to do right over here is i have two sets of a particular uh, meaning also i have given theory of production is the fundamental principle that explains how business decides how much each use and how much each product inputs so how much raw materials i should should how much raw material i should uh invest in producing that particular product so these two are the aspects which i need to concern about the production so i'll minimize this this is the stages of production this is the theory of production i'll explain this one so on the basis of input your production will be varying if i am in need of in if i am need raw materials for the production so uh, can you just mute yourself so if i am producing 10 materials what input i should have that 10 inputs raw materials i should have that is the first stage which is called as your increasing i have just marked it right over here which is called as your increasing definitely after a business is started minimum of 2 months of time is required for having this particular stage then in the diminishing stage what it will happen is your inputs will be more and your production will be less based upon your requirement you will be having the raw material in your godown so that your production will be going as such without any kind of a non stop process and it will be having a second stage and in the negative return so why i am just focusing upon this increasing diminishing and negative is nothing but in the initial stage definitely any business is going to have a hike 
and in the second stage definitely it is going to be in the peak as discussed in the unit 1 and in the third stage definitely it is going to be a peak as well as the depression stage so in between this if we don't concentrate upon the number of raw materials required for the production definitely there is going to be one more graph or two more graph which will be talking about diminishing and your negative returns of the company understood got it clear yeah got it clear yes then yes sir so i have to explain in both tamil and uh, english i think so so okay sir idhula rendu rendu picture vechirkema indha rendu picture la or company start pandringa appadina first stage la definitely வரும் <laughs> 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 நீங்க ஏதாவது ஒரு பாயிண்ட்ல நீங்க கான்சென்ட்ரேட் பண்ணல இந்த பிசினஸ்ல நீங்க கான்சென்ட்ரேட் பண்ணல கொஞ்சம் வேவரிங்கா இருக்கீங்க வேவரிங் மீன்ஸ் லூஸா இருக்கீங்க அப்படி அப்படின்னா டெஃபினெட்லி தேர் வில் பி ஏ நெகட்டிவ் ரிட்டர்ன் ஃபார் யுவர் பர்டிகுலர் பிசினஸ் தென் இன் திஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆல் ஒன் கொஸ்டின் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் வாட் ஆர் தி டிஃபரெண்ட் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் விச் ஆர் கோயிங் டு அஃபெக்ட் தி ப்ரொடக்ஷன் <coughs> which are going to affect the production in this first first edutha one you need a capital you need some kind of an investment money in your hand modali id venu appo da neenga business start panna mudiyum then you should be an entrepreneur neenga velila or company la vela paathittu inga vandittu subsidy ah panninga appadina definitely it is going to affect in this particular not in the third stage in the second stage itself definitely it is going to affect so what we are planning is in the theory of production only one concept dedication towards that particular work that is capital entrepreneurs you should have a land ungalku sondamana or land irkano apdi illaya நீங்க வந்துட்டு அது லீஸ் போது எடுத்திருக்கணும் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ்லி ஆப்ரேட்டிங் ஃபார் தட் பர்டிகுலர் பிஸ்னஸ் தென் ஃபைனலி யூ ஷுட் ஹாவ் தி மெயின் மேன் பவர் சப்போர்ட்டிங் சப்போஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் மேன் பவர் இல்லை அப்படின்னா மேன் பவர் இஃப் இட் இஸ் நாட் அவைலபிள் மீன்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு sustainly run the business with the help of your own self otherwise you can get some kind of an entrepreneur in that in that thala vandittu entrepreneur opposite of entrepreneur will be an intrapreneur so intrapreneur is nothing but the person who is having money in his uh, sorry who is not having money in his hand but business plans so you can invest upon them for running this particular business as successful one so this is the theory of production so i have given you some two pictures the one is the explanation the second one is the graph which is showing about your increasing diminishing and defleation that is defleation is nothing but decreasing so what are all the things which are required for this particular production is nothing but you need the capital ungalku modalidu veno neenga or entrepreneur ah irukano you should be an entrepreneur as well as neenga vandittu unga own land vechirukano apdi illa appadina government lease la illa vera edavadhu or land ah eduthirukano plus you should have the labors velaiku aal irukano indha edathila velaiku aal irukano appadina you have to talk about two concepts one is called as entrepreneurship and the other one is called as intrapreneurship 
what is entrepreneurship the one who has money in his hand kaila kaas irukum business pandranga adu entrepreneurship kaila kaas irukade but idea mattum irukum apdiingiradhu vandittu it is called as intrapreneurship that is called as your theory of production any discussions for this no fine next the meaning and the factors of production only one particular line for this the input needed for creating a good or service which includes land labor entrepreneurship and capital so already we have seen we need land we need labor we need entrepreneur and we need a capital so with ever requirement is there or not these four requirements is needed for running a business you should be an entrepreneur you should have capital in your hand if you don't have you are not an entrepreneur means go for the funding or you will be going for the loan that is called as your capital then you will be going for the purchase of the land or you will be leasing the land or the rented property then finally you will be having the labors in your hand that is what is called as your factors underneath your production got it understood i have given a small uh, picture also for this if needed you can draw this one also then next one law of production when concerned about law of production law of variable proportion law of return to scale simple very simple then i am producing any material what are the two ultimate things i'll be seeing it has to be manufactured in a cost effective manner or it has to be time consuming less time consuming then i'll be focusing upon the returns ipo na oru porul thayarikiren appadina adile எனக்கு எவ்வளவு காஸ்ட் ஆகுது அது கம்மியா இருக்கணும் எவ்வளவு லேபர் ஆகுது அது கம்மியா இருக்கணும் இது ரெண்டும் போன பட்சத்துல ஐ நீடு டு ஏர்ன் ப்ராஃபிட் அவுட் ஆஃப் எனி பிஸ்னஸ் அதுதான் லா ஆஃப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் யூ ஹாவ் எனி டவுட்ஸ் கிளாரிஃபிகேஷன் டிஸ்கஷன்ஸ் யூ கேன் டிஸ்கஸ் law of production is concerned with law of variable proportion and law of return any discussions any doubts no no sir okay fine next law of variable proportion so i have given the definition here law of variable proportion is nothing but for manufacturing any product you need different kinds of materials raw materials as well as you need different aspects different aspects abdina time rendu vishayangal ninga indha edathila focus pannu onnu vandute evlo raw material theva padudhu adoda cost plus you have to remember upon the time for production இந்த ரெண்டும் நீங்க மினிமைஸ்டா பண்ணீங்க அப்படின்னா யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆர் யூ வில் பி ஏபிள் டு பி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் இன் யோர் பிஸ்னஸ் அதுதான் இந்த லா ஆஃப் வேரியபிள் ப்ரொபோஷன் லா ஆஃப் வேரியபிள் ப்ரொபோஷன் அப்படிங்கிறது என்னன்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா டைம் கம்மியா இருக்கணும் காஸ்ட் கம்மியா இருக்கணும் அப்படிங்கும் போது ப்ராஃபிட் யூ கேன் மேக் இன்க்ரீஸ் டைம் ஜாஸ்தி ஆகுது காஸ்ட் கம்மி ஆகுது அப்படின்னா இட் வில் பி கிவிங் யூ ஆல்சோ அண்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஆர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஆர் ப்ராஃபிட் பட் லிமிட்டட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் டைம் அண்ட் காஸ்ட் ஷுட் பி லெஸ் ஃபார் இன்க்ரீசிங் தி ப்ராஃபிட் டைம் இஸ் ஹை காஸ்ட் இஸ் லோ மீன்ஸ் தெர் வில் பி ஏ டிமினிஷிங் எஃபெக்ட் இன் தி ப்ராஃபிட் ஆர் வைஸ் வர்சா தட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஆஸ் யுவர் law of proportion can you give me any example for this law of proportion can you give me any example pardon
pardon any example for law of variable proportion okay. please okay i'll just give you a simple example now chinna example kudukuren law of proportion variable proportion abadina today is sunday i think so many of your house will be filled with uh, afternoon lunch one of the important aspect of each and every human being is sunday's lunch sunday's lunch which will be an non vegetarian or vegetarian whatever it is but one of the important aspect is sunday's lunch is an important thing which we come across in the life that is nothing but all the seven days we are working in that sunday's lunch we will be relaxedly uh, relaxedly having the lunch and then after that we will be going for a small nap or chinna oru thookathukku kuda polam so that's why this sunday's uh, lunch is much uh, important ipo i have a question i have a question law of variable proportion abdina inga irukra for example uh, totally there are around 27 people in that 27 people everybody's home will be filled with all vegetarian items or non vegetarian items but special items will be there because we have plenty of time morning we got up we have leisurely time we prepared and we have all these things but when it is coming to a non vegetarian item we need a proportion of non vegetarian raw material for preparing our lunch so if we are investing more than 1000 rupees or 2000 rupees what is the ultimate outcome of it what will be the ultimate outcome of it many of you people will be having classes today as well as you would have invited somebody for the house also definitely you will be waiting for this so in that case <coughs> law of variable proportion is nothing but you are going to invest in the non vegetarian item according to the requirement of your guest who are going to come or for your family and what is the ultimate return you are going to get out of it is nothing but the satisfaction and happiness idu da law of variable proportion everybody understood i am giving a pause here because this is one of the three mark question here understood so we go in yes sir fine then okay sir next these two concepts are explained so whatever you input there will be a return whatever you input there will be a return that is called as your law of proportion and law of return which will be coming under your law of production now producers equilibrium this is the next part which i am going to talk about producers equilibrium if suppose so fatima ma'am you are there yes sir fatima ma'am வீட்டுல வந்து இருக்கு சாரு வீட்டுல சாரு வெஜிடேரியன் ஆனா பன்னீர் சார் பன்னீரு நான் வெஜிடேரியன் மை ஹோம் எவ்ரிபடி இஸ் நான் வெஜிடேரியன் பட் ஐ எம் வெஜிடேரியன் ஸோ ஃபார் மீ பன்னீர் ஸ்பெஷலி ஸோ ஃபார் மீ பன்னீர் அண்ட் தே ஹாவ் மட்டன் அண்ட் நான்வெஜ் ஓகே 
I'll just take this particular example, my own example itself. Equilibrium. Equilibrium is nothing but to the requirement of the customer, that is my mom as well as my wife and my child, they are non-vegetarian, so I am purchasing non-vegetarian for them. But I am a vegetarian. Due to that, I need to have some kind of an uh, similar content like that. Similar content or similar similar nutritional level like that. So for that, what I'll be doing is I'll follow an equilibrium. If I am getting 250 grams of paneer, which is more than enough for me, similar to that, I'll be getting one kg of chicken or mutton or whatever it is for them to have it peacefully. So whatever ingredients which are required for maximization of the profit will be your equilibrium. So here in my example, what is the profit, which is nothing but satisfaction. So Sunday's lunch is a special, uh, special uh, occurrence for everybody. So what we do is we just prefer uh, going for vegetarian or non-vegetarian whatever i invest upon the particular material ultimate satisfaction will be required in case where this particular satisfaction will be missed is nothing but when the customer is not able to understand or he is not able to down come his particular aspect means he will be not satisfied. Suppose you have promised the customer that you have, you will be giving him a chicken biryani. In that case, if you are giving him a mutton biryani who is not a lover of mutton, definitely there is going to be a slash in the profit margin for your business. So ultimately, before going into any business, definitely you should be able to understand what is the actual requirement of the customer as well as what is his taste preference and his perception attitude all these things you have to consider in your mind and you have to focus upon the particular production process that is called as your equilibrium equilibrium is nothing but raw material inputted and it should satisfy the customer for that the profit will be maximized that is called as your producers equilibrium then next one will be your cost concept when talking about your cost concept <clears throat> three things which i have highlighted here Cost refers to the amount of expenses spent on the particular raw material so that there will be an increase in the price. So it is up to the company. If you are investing 10 rupees, you should earn a profit after all your manufacturing process, you should earn a profit of 15 rupees. So total expenditure happened will be 15 rupees. In that, at least 2 rupees should be as your profit for selling the product. That is called as your cost concept. So, in the unit 1, we spoke about the business cycle. Then, what price should I fix? Then, about the demand and about the supply. Now, fourth unit talks about the production. In between the supply and the demand, your concept called as your production comes. So in the concept of production, there is a particular limit, which is called as your cost concept as well as your time concept. I'll give a pause here. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll go for the cost concept. You have any doubts, uh, discussions? No doubts. Okay. Now, when talking about cost, 
everything is a cost so i gave you an example sir also said that uh, so today he asked me a question <coughs> today he asked me a question what is the today's lunch i said about uh, three concepts one is paneer one is mutton and one is chicken so three things i need to buy as the raw material when i am buying these three things as a raw material i cannot buy all the three things in the same quantity if i am buying 250 grams of paneer means i should definitely get 250 grams of mutton and some half kg of chicken that will be the ratio normally that will be the ratio if i want to prepare a biryani there is a ratio for all the ingredients likewise cost concept also will be varying based upon certain ingredients or the outputs which are required right cost uh, second point which which is talking about cost refers to the expenditure that actually or nominally happens when getting the raw material and it should be incurred incurred abdina in darthla enna na ninga evlo modalidu porringlo adu ellame seethi ungaloda final product your final product should be reflecting that particular cost then only you can earn profit if i am getting 10 rupees product as a raw material means and after the man after the production process if i am selling that product for 20 or 25 rupees means remaining 10 rupees will be my expenditure which is going to happen so this is about types of concept uh, sorry types of uh, sorry cost concept and the types of cost what are the different types of cost absorption cost historical cost marginal cost standard cost lean costing activity based costing direct costing uniform costing job costing contrast costing batch costing process costing unit costing operating costing operation costing multiple costing so to my view point to my view point all these things when you manufacture a product these should be there so simple example i'll give you when i just go for the purchase of any furniture when i just go for any purchase of the furniture definitely when you are bargaining a rate there will be a word from the particular seller that sir uh, investment itself my cost it occurred so and so so i'm giving a profit i'm getting a profit of so and so i'm just reducing on my profit only this is the truthfulness so for manufacturing any android phone for manufacturing any android phone it will be costing you something around 1000 rupees or 1500 rupees to whatever extent it is but actually after crossing many hurdles that is hurdles is nothing but your profit orientations and your intermediary players it will be raised up to 22000 or 25000 so remaining amount we are going to pay it as the profit for the particular person so simple example if the farmer is sowing the seeds and he is uh, having an uh, profit so the profit will be minimum the other cost will be occurring so from the farmer the wholesaler will take the product so the transportation cost will be included and from the wholesaler it will be going to the retailer the retailer will keep his transportation cost and as well as his residing cost residing cost is nothing but go down charges so all these things are into the scene so these are the different kinds of cost you have any doubts regarding this there are many types of cost but i have listed some cost here so when talking about absorption cost what raw material which is coming right over here and what finished product which is going out 
but I'll be having a fixed cost. If I'm getting raw material for 100 rupees, I'll be fixing a cost of 1000 rupees for my absorption cost. Then historical cost based upon the previous experience, the cost will the cost will be varying. Then the marginal cost, my profit, my production cost, everything happens with a time limit of uh, sorry, with a specification of 100 rupees means I'll fix up that 100 rupees as the margin and I'll go for the final price as 150 or 200. So like this, you will be having different kinds of cost. You have any doubts in this? You have any doubts? No, sir. Fine. If you have any doubts, you can just text me then and there once or twice. Otherwise, get me in touch with uh, WhatsApp because I'm from island. You can also see I'm practically from an island. So you can just uh, get me in uh, get me in touch with. Uh, so this is my location. I have shared you. You can just see I'm away from mainland. India is here and this one. So in WhatsApp, you can just text me so that you can uh, get a deeper insight or any doubts. Then after that, I have the relationship between average cost, marginal cost, short run and the long run. So what is this average cost? Average cost is nothing but on a bulk per on a bulk production i'm going to match up with the profit so in one product it will be of high quality in the other product it will be of low quality so on a bulk purchase average <laughs> average cost will be happening so normally simple example i'll give you Many of the uh, gents used to go for this particular, uh, oh. sir. So, okay. Many of the uh, males and females used to go for this uh, particular beauty parlor. In that, there is no limitation for the time. If you are going for an facial, they will be uh, measuring the time and they will be saying it for 45 minutes or 50 minutes or something like that. They will not be having a specific time for that. If they like the customer or the tips is paid extra, definitely it will take much time for the particular operation or the service. So that is called as your average service. So the same operation, haircut or uh, any other process, facial or something else, based upon the customers, there will be a wavering in the payment mode. So that is called as your average cost. Marginal cost is nothing but you are going to fix up a price. Simple example will be your 10 rupees recharge coupon. Normally 4 rupees 40, uh, sorry, 7 rupees 41 paise will be going for the company and the remaining 2 rupees 59 paise will be going for the <coughs> shopkeeper. This is the marginal cost. And the short run cost, short run cost is like your uh, real estate uh, brokers. That is called as your short run cost. They will earn a profit for the particular plot. They will earn more profit for the other plot. They will be earning much lesser profit. So long run cost is nothing but continuous dispatch of raw material or the finished products to the particular time limit will be your long run cost so by this i just keep a pause for the cost and next week i'll just continue with the cost here and i have some important uh, notes which has to be given for the uh, examination point of view so i'll just share that one you have any doubts related to the cost idama <laughs> Yes, sir. Fatima, then, Amma Fatima, then, 
கிடைக்கும் <laughs> Same process தான் நீங்க ஃபேஷியல் பண்ணிட்டீங்க நீங்க ப்ராசஸ் பண்ணிட்டீங்க எல்லாமே முடிஞ்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் நூத்தம்பது ரூபா பில்லுக்கு இருநூறு ரூபா கொடுத்துட்டு வந்தீங்கன்னா அடுத்த தடவை அதே மாதிரி எக்ஸ்ட்ரா இன்கிரீடியன்ஸோட ஏதாவது கிடைக்கும் மேபி ஃப்ரம் அந்த பர்டிகுலர் ஹேண்ட்லிங் ரெஸ்பாண்டண்டோட அதாவது யாரு உங்களுக்கு ப்ரீவியஸா பண்ணாங்களோ அவங்களே உங்களுக்கு திருப்பி இது வந்துட்டு எக்ஸ்ட்ரா இன்கிரீடியன்ட் கொடுப்பாங்க அதுதான் ஆவரேஜ் காஸ்ட் மார்ஜினல் காஸ்ட் அப்படிங்கிறது என்ன அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா நிறைய டைம் பார்கெயின் பண்ணுவீங்க இல்லையா பஜார்ல பார்கெயின் பண்ணும் போது அதாவது ஓரி ஆடும் போது நீங்க வந்துட்டு அவங்க கடைக்காரங்க சொல்லுவாங்க இப்ப என்னன்னா சார் நானே இந்த ரேட்டுக்கு தான் வாங்கினேன் ஐம்பது ரூபாய்க்கு வாங்கினேன் பத்து ரூபா மேல வச்சு கொடுக்குறேன் சார் ஏற்கனவே நான் நூறு ரூபா சொல்லியிருந்தேன் நாற்பது ரூபா வச்சேன் இப்ப பத்து ரூபா தான் மேல வச்சிருக்கேன் அப்படிங்கும் போது நீங்க சாட்டிஸ்பை பண்ணி கொடுத்துட்டு வரீங்க இல்லையா அது மார்ஜினல் காஸ்ட் பார்கெயின் பண்ணி போறதோட ஷார்ட் ரேன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லி பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு லேண்ட் புரோக்கர் வித்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் திருப்பி ஒரு ப்ராஃபிட் ஒருத்தர் வந்துட்டு என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னா இருபதாயிரம் ரூபா கொடுப்பாங்க இன்னொருத்தர் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவாங்கன்னா பத்தாயிரம் ரூபா தான் கொடுப்பாங்க பார்கெயின் பண்ணி அதெல்லாம் வந்துட்டு ஷார்ட் ரன் லாங் ரன்ல பாத்தீங்க அப்படின்னா கண்டினியூஸா நீங்க ஒரு டிபார்ட்மெண்டல் ஸ்டோருக்கு போனீங்கன்னா ஒரே மாதிரி பிரைஸ் தான் பேஸ் பண்ணிட்டு வருவீங்க பே பண்ணிட்டு வருவீங்க அதுதான் வந்துட்டு லாங் ரன் ப்ராசஸ் சரிங்களா டிஸ்கஷன்ஸ் ஏதாவது இருந்துச்சுன்னா சொல்லுங்க யூ கேன் டெக்ஸ்ட் மீ ஆல்சோ ஐம் கம்ஃபர்டபுள் வித் ஆல் தி சவுத் இந்தியன் லாங்குவேஜஸ் as well as hindi also sir malayalam do you malayalam ha malayalam language do ha adhe sir coimbatore ana endra sala oh coimbatore la ne evlo unna okay okay குறைய கிராமட்டிக்கல் மிஸ்டேக்ஸ் இந்த சார் எந்த எந்த பரிவா எந்த ஸ்பீச்சில் நோ ப்ராப்ளம் நோ ப்ராப்ளம் அதே அத்தரே உள்ள 3 இயர்ஸ் அவட ஜோலி இருந்து ஜோலி செய்து கலிகட்ல கலிகட் எட ரெடியல்ஸ் இல்ல எட டென் டெலிபோன்ஸ் ஆ காலேஜ் இல்ல ஆ அவட ஜோலி செய்து எத்தர இயர்ஸ் 3 years jolly jayde 3 years oh good good uh, good 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 thara okay, okay let's continue also i am comfortable with telugu also kannadam i am much comfortable with uh, hearing and uh, i can talk little bit hindi i can sir oh apo pore language arale ariya sir ariya குறைய <laughs> மலப்புரம் <laughs> 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 காலிக்கட் அடுத்த ஜில்லா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் நியர் பை காரி மலப்புரம் 
ആ മലപ്പുറം മലപ്പുറം ആസാദ് റോഡ് അല്ലേ അവിടെ ജോലി ചെയ്ത് സെൻട്രൽ ഫോൺസർ കോളേജ് ഉണ്ട് പോണ്ടിച്ചേരി എത്ര വർഷമായി ഫൈവ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ആയി സാറെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയിലെ ജോലി കിട്ടില്ല സാറെ തമിഴ്നാട് ഗവൺമെന്റ് സെറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് പിന്നെ പി എച്ച് ഡി ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് തേർട്ടീൻ പാസ് ആയി ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചത് നമ്മളെ അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് പ്രൊഫസറിന് യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് പോരെ അത് മതി യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് മതി സാറെ പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പോ ടൂ തൗസൻഡ് സർവീസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി മാനേജ്മെന്റ് സർവീസ് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി സർവീസ് ക്ലൈമറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് സെൻട്രൽ കോഓപ്പറേറ്റീവ് ബാങ്ക് ഇൻ തമിഴ്നാടു ആൻഡ് കേരള ടു സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് കണ്ടിന്യൂ ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു സാർ ഓക്കെ സോ വി ആർ വൈൻഡിംഗ് അപ്പ് വിത്ത് ദി കോസ് കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് മീറ്റ് യു ബൈ നെക്സ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് thank you all if you have any doubts you can just uh, pin me up you have my numbers you, you can pin me up i'll clear your doubts eda doubt irundichina ena kelunga sir ana sir okay sir okay thank you bye thank you sir thank you sir and fatima <laughs> okay so business communication we have covered uh, i think so business uh, letter what do you mean by business letter what is meaning of business letter can anyone answer tara solla mudiyuma business letter na enna ante Okay, uh, it's not a kind of 
which unit which unit yesterday we saw about business letter right for second unit oh, continuous continuous sir business letter oh, and sir paada da nokki vaanga na sir see i don't know malayalam i can't address that okay a uh, business letter is a uh, formal letter which is uh, issued by one company to another company our customers regarding Ma business Ma matters please been slide explain wait let me brush up yesterday's section then we will forward to today's section okay 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 so business uh, letter as you people said that uh, one business communicate to another it doesn't mean that they have to be in partnership okay now production industry la irke if i am in production industry i need contacts like i need orders from other business our customers right for that i have to contact another business man so that they want any order or not or uh, uh, can you uh, buy my products like that you have to give sales right so that is not a partnership okay fatima it's not a partnership it is purchase order yeah ngako no varan thule business communication is the subject answer outunda if you talk in malayalam i can't understand sorry sir okay okay sorry, sorry sir. sir sorry sir business letter is formal way cannot, of right. you cannot understand english yes sir yes, yes, sir. yes we, we, are, we understand english. english you understand english yes ma'am Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. That's why I'm just speaking English. No, I'm. See, what I am, whatever I am communicating in English, that's what I will say in Tamil for others. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay, okay I'm okay. not saying okay. any new thing in Tamil. Okay. Don't don't do it in Malayalam. Okay. I don't know Malayalam. Yes, I don't know Malayalam. I don't know Malayalam. I know only Tamil okay. and English. Okay. okay. Maybe अनवी तेरी मारे आलम। Okay, plus listen to what I have to say. Business letter is a formal letter, way of expressing your thoughts, feelings to another business uh, concern or to the customers. Okay, it may not be a partnership among them. कुछ मज़दूर दामाद आ रहे हैं। See, I am talking in English. This is also a problem for you. Okay, okay. Okay. If you go on interrupt in my section, I cannot do my presentation. Okay. So now, uh, this is a uh, a team which we saw yesterday. I'm going to present my slide for further uh, content in that area. I'm sharing my screen. You tell me whether it's visible or not. It's visible. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Now uh, we will see the presentation. Okay. Business communication. Yeah, business communication is the subject. Now we are entering in the business letter, other content. Now. Uh, we understood what is business letter. We are going to see the layout of a business letter. You understand? Okay, understand. Yes, ma'am. Now there are different layout is there. One is block form, semi block form, complete block form, indented form, hanging indented form, simplified or noma form. Okay, six types of format 
for layout layout na what is a layout do you understand what is layout layout na enna theriyuma outer outer theriyadhu ma'am okay layout na theriyadhu okay ipo na kaatra layout na enna see the vision the which i'm showing the layout for a letter okay wait i will show you yellai yellai wait is it vision is it visible Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. This is the format. Format means how you have to. Show me back. Show me back. Mutta. Please don't talk in between the section. Between yourself. When I am communicating, no one should interrupt. Otherwise, content will not be delivered to others. Am I clear? answer your uh, means express your thought when i allow you when i ask you a question you answer it in between don't talk with yourself that is not allowed in the section do you understand yes miss yes miss sorry miss okay okay now we will go for that this is block form uh, layout business letter see the heading topmost uh, line is that there you will be writing the heading of the letter then towards the uh, right side top date is that then again left side inside address inside address means the person to whom you are going to communicate that uh, that person address will be uh, stated here next is salutation that is dear respect uh like that you will uh, say that uh, by greeting also hi uh, name like that our dear uh, mr gupta our uh, respected mr gupta like that you will be uh, writing that salutation next is the content that body of letter that is first para second para you see the way the lines are started right from the left uh, beginning itself towards the end of right side will be continued right then second para will be there at the end of the second para complimentary close how we will close yours sincerely yours face uh, faithfully or with regards like that you will place some complimentary close then you sign your letter that is signature is been placed then towards the left side dictator or stenograph uh, stenograph initial okay usually in business means the person who is uh, representing the company uh, signature will be there okay that will be the complimentary close under a signature okay but the he won't type the letter right he will instruct his uh, assistant uh, uh, means uh, scenographer uh, to convert it into to type the letter and initial it so that their initial will be there in the left side an enclose any enclosement that is any attachment uh, you can attach any form or pamphlets or uh, uh, any type of uh, suggestion like uh, uh, what are the offers you are placing for the products like that will be attached okay that is enclosement you understand you have any doubts till now this is block form no ma'am layout this is block form layout understand that okay next we will go to the next form that is semi block form layer semi block form layout you see that as you saw in the black form lay block form layer same heading date inside address salutation body of the letter everything will be as same as block form layout but the problem uh, means uh, where uh, deviation occurs it complimentary close and signature which occurred in right side will be occurring in the left side see semi block evenly 
uh, complementary clause and signature will occur in the right side thing and uh, under it dictator xenograph and enclosed this is the difference between block and semi block is there any doubt no ma'am tamil la irukra ungalku puriyudha na solradhu konja 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 sir konja konja seri na tamil la naan illa na ungale kekkala tamil la first na english la pesumbodhu like when i am talking in english some people couldn't understand in english for them tamil is the comfortable language for them i am asking whether what i stated in english is uh, understandable by them or not konja konja puriyudha ma'am okay ipo na ungalku na solra layout vande பிஸ்னஸ் லெட்டரில் நிறைய ஃபார்மேட் இருக்கு அது எப்படி பரிணாமங்கள் வருதுன்றத பார்க்கும்போது ஃபஸ்ட்டு வந்து பிளாக் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் லிட்டர் பிஸ்னஸ் லெட்டரு அது எப்படி இருக்குன்னா மேலே ஹெட்டிங் பிஸ்னஸோட நேமு அவங்களோட அட்ரெஸ்ஸு அவங்களோட கான்டாக்ட் நம்பர் கொடுத்துருவாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட்டு ரைட் சைடு டேட்டு அடுத்தது இன்சைடு அட்ரெஸ் இன்டைர் அட்ரெஸ்னா என்ன அர்த்தம்னா நம்ம வந்து நம்ம ஒரு பிஸ்னஸ் மேனா நம்ம எந்த பிஸ்னஸ் ஆளக்கிட்ட நம்ம இதை கம்யூனிகேட் பண்ண விரும்புகிறோமோ அவங்களோட அட்ரெஸ்ஸு இதாக யாருக்கு நம்ம அனுப்புகிறோமோ அவங்களோட அட்ரஸ் அதுதான் இன்சைட் அட்ரெஸ்ஸு செலிட்டேஷன் வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும்னா ரெஸ்பெக்டடு டியருன்னு அவங்க பேர் போடுவோம் இல்லையா அது ரெஸ்பெக்டடு சார் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் மேடம் இல்லை ரெஸ்பெக்டட் மிஸ்டர் குப்தா அந்த மாதிரி போடுறோம் இல்லையா அந்த செலிட்டேஷனை ப்ளேஸ் பண்ணுறோம் அடுத்தது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரைட் ஃப்ரம் த லெஃப்ட் சைடு ஸ்டார்டிங்லேருந்து உங்களுக்கு ரைட் சைடு எண்டு வரைக்கும் ஃபுல்லாக வரும் அது பாடி ஆஃப் த கண்டென்ட் நீங்கள் என்ன விஷயம் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறீங்களோ அந்த கண்டென்ட்டில் நீங்கள் சொல்லுவீங்க இந்த பாடி ஆஃப் லெட்டர்லாம் சொல்லுவீங்க ரெண்டு பேராக பிரித்து எழுதலாம் அடுத்து கத்தியில் காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி க்ளோஸ் அது ரைட் சைடில் அக்கராகவும் அதாவது யுவர்ஸ் ஃபேத்ஃபுல்லி யுவர்ஸ் சின்சியர்லி அப்படின்னு நம்ம சொல்கிறோம் இல்லையா வித் ரிகார்ட்ஸு அந்த மாதிரி காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி க்ளோஸ் போட்டு சைன் போடுறது யார் வந்து அந்த கம்பெனியோட முதலாளியோ அங்கே சைன் போடுவாங்க இப்போ வந்து நீங்கள் ரைட் லெஃப்ட் சைடில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா டிக்டேட்டர் ஆர் செனோகிராஃபர் இன்ஷியல் அப்படின்னா எப்போவுமே ஒரு முதலாளி அவரே உட்காந்து டைப் பண்ண மாட்டார் அவங்க அசிஸ்டன்ட் கிட்ட இல்லை செனோகிராஃபர் டைப்பிஸ்ட் கிட்ட கொடுப்பாங்க அவங்கக்கிட்ட டிக்டேட் பண்ணுவாங்க அவங்க அதை ஷார்ட் ஹேண்டில் எழுதி டைப் பண்ணி இவங்ககிட்ட இன்ஷியல் வாங்கி அனுப்புவாங்க அவங்களோட இன்ஷியல் டைப் பண்ணுறாங்களே அவங்களோட இன்ஷியல் வந்து இந்த லெஃப்ட் சைடில் போடுறாங்க புரியுதா அடுத்தது என்க்ளோஸ்மெண்ட் என்க்ளோஸ்மெண்ட்னா என்னென்னா இந்த லெட்டரோட இதோட எவிடன்ஸ் சப்போஸ் நான் வந்து ஆர்டரு கேட்டு நான் சேல்ஸ் பண்ணுறேன்னு வைங்க பேம்ப்லெட் அதாவது இதோட ப்ராடக்டோட டீட்டெயில்ஸ் அதோட ப்ரைஸோட பேம்ப்லெட்ஸு இல்லை வந்து இதோட ப்ரூஃப் நான் வேறு ஏதாவது ரிசிப்ட் பண்ணுறேன்னா ஃபார்ம் எல்லாம் அட்டாச் பண்ணால் என்ன என்க்ளோஸ் பண்ணுறேன்ற டீட்டெயிலு இதில் நான் சொல்லுவேன் எந்த என்க்ளோஸ் க்ளோஸ் புரியுதா அட்டாச் பண்ணி இது வந்து பிளாக் ஃபார்மு லெட்டர் இது செமி பிளாக் ஃபார்மு செமி பிளாக் ஃபார்முக்கும் பிளாக் ஃபார்முக்கும் இருக்கிற ஒரே ஒரு வித்தியாசம் என்னென்னா காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி க்ளோஸு சிக்னேச்சரு ரைட் சைடில் இருந்துச்சு எதில் பிளாக் ஃபார்மில் செமி பிளாக்கில் வந்து லெஃப்ட் சைடில் இருக்கும் அவ்வளோதான் அதோட ரிப்பிடேஷன் ஃபுல்லாக இதில் வரும் ஓகேயா ஓகே மேம் ஓகே நவ் வி வில் கோ ஃபார் த அதர் அதர் ஃப்ளாம் அனாஸ் ஆர் யூ தேர் அனாஸ் Are you there? Okay. I'm going to explain the next uh, form. Okay, okay. Complete Understood. block form of business letter. Third layout we are going to see. In that heading will be same. Date will be different. Instead of for placing it in the uh, right side, it will be in the left side. See the difference? Date in block and semi-block. Date was appearing in the right side or topmost right side. But... now it is appearing in the left side that is one difference after that inside address same salutation same body of the content is also same okay complementary see as it appears in the uh, what do you say oh, as it appears in the semi block form it is appearing in complementary clause and signal uh, signature in the uh, left side uh, it is appearing and dictator and senator same in clause see two differences are there from uh, block and semi block that is uh, date is occurring in the uh, left side and complementary clause is also different from block which is uh, appears in the left side you understand that is a different format between uh, complete semi block okay 
Till now, any doubts? I have no. a doubt. Yes, ask please. Actually, there are three types of letters which is saying that block, semi, and uh, complete. But why we have these different uh, three letters in a business? Some uh, for nature of the big uh, see nature of the business demands the uh, adjust in the see if I'm going to communicate to UK industry in their format will be different. Okay, they may be uh, US format will be uh, means uh, they are for following Noma uh, layout. So uh, regarding uh, like uh, in which country you are going to contact uh, their format we have to follow. So for that, we have to know all types of layout, right? It will change according to the country, language, difference. You understand? Yeah. So, so when I'm, see, uh, when I'm writing in Hindi, it will be like uh, you will uh, write from the top line itself. When I'm writing in the Tamil, you will be writing from bottom line, right? When I'm writing in the Urdu, you will be starting from right hand to left, not from left to right. So language different differs, right? Yes. Like that, format, layout are different in different countries. So when I'm going for worldwide contacts, I have to follow the country's layout. So for that condition, I have to understand what are the different layouts for business letter. Understood? Yeah. So for which uh, for which country or for which format we can use semi block and uh, block and then the complete block it differs uh, like uh, i understand only us uh, use for noma and uh, 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 in some companies uh, now still we have a, a letter pad with a company's name there is no need for from address and you go start for two address. Previously, it was from two, and it has changed like this now. Okay, so uh, to the trend and uh, to the demand of the trend, it will be changing. But uh, uh, blog, semi blog, which countries are using? I have no idea. But I know that different countries use different formats. But I'm letting you using what? Okay. 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 So this is a complete block form of letter. Next is a indent form of business letter. Word uh, have you used word right? There is a feature for indent. Have you come across that indent feature? If you press the indent button, your uh, cursor will be shifting uh, some uh, uh, distance. Have you seen that paragraph itself will be shifting? One inch, you say, means one inch, your paragraph will be shifting towards the uh, right side. If you give left indent, your paragraph will be shifting one inch to the left side. Have you used that button in Word? Are you there? Yes. Okay. You know the meaning of indent, right? Okay. In uh, uh, what do you say? In Word, in uh, Microsoft Word, uh, you have used Microsoft Word, right? So in Word, you will have a feature called indent. That button, if you click, that means your uh, uh, entire para will be shifting towards that direction. Which direction you give? Like that. Here also, heading, date, same thing. But you see the inside address. Three lines are not same. First line will be starting lightly forward itself. Then following lines will be shifted slightly. That is indented meaning. You understand? 
first yes, line ma'am. will be starting ma'am, from ma'am, 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 please, beginning ma'am, ma'am. Yeah, i'm repeating uh, i'm repeating again first line of a para will be starting from right beginning then following lines will be lightly shifted one inch or a half inch it will be shifted few do you see the difference three lines you see uh, uh, before a semi block see same uh, three lines will be in same uh, beginning itself you see the direction all lines will be starting from one point itself but in indent you see it the second line will be start with some gap slightly shifting uh, shifted from the first line okay. you see that second line and third line are uh, so following the same course but first line starting way behind this way uh, way forward from second and third you see the difference yes. that you will see in indented format if you if you have a paragraph or if you are uh, enclosing three or four lines together first line will be starting from the beginning really early but uh, following line slightly will be shifted from the first line you will see that in para also you see body of the letter para also you see first line it is starting from the starting itself but second third fourth fifth you see slightly shifted sphere or tab is given you see that tap space has been given so the difference is first line and other lines are a difference that is indented format otherwise it is known as block everything appear in the block uh, form uh, business letter itself only difference is in inside address body of letter first line will be starting from the uh, starting itself but pre, uh, starting then uh, uh, lines following the first line will be uh, starting from the slightly shifted from the first line you see the difference you have a gap in the right side so you understood the indented form yes ma'am yeah. yes so ma'am now we will be seeing ma tamil la irukra ungalku purinjida ma தமிழ்ல இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கு புரிஞ்சுதாமா இன்டென்ட் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் பிஸ்னஸ் லைனுக்கு என்ன என்ன அர்த்தம் அப்படின்னு பாத்தீங்கன்னா பிளாக் ஃபார்ம்ல இருக்கிறது எல்லாமே இருக்கும் ஆனா இன்சைட் அட்ரஸ்லயோ இல்ல பேராகிராஃபா வரும்போது லைன் வந்து முதலந்தே ஆரம்பிச்சிரும் ஆனா அதுக்கப்புறம் தொடர லைன் எல்லாமே கொஞ்சம் எட்ட ஆரம்பிக்கும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லைனை கம்பேர் பண்ணும் போது செகண்ட் லைனும் அதுக்கடுத்த லைன் எல்லாமே கொஞ்சம் தள்ளி ஆரம்பிக்கும் அவ்வளவுதான் இன்டென்ட் புரியுதா இருக்கிறதே வரும் hanging indented form indented form ko uh, iruko differences pathina it's all same you see the difference it's all same so all same ma it's all same indented form What letter different? and hanging indented form letters are all same layout is same we will see what is the difference indented form has become obsolete because it takes lot of time and spacing and punctuation you have to give space punctuations so all these thing it takes a lot of stenographer's time and it was followed two decades before and hanging indented form is effective because uh, you can use it in the K, uh, sales letter also uh, so he has given first line has been started from the left margin itself starting itself then remaining lines five space after five space they will start that's what they have given 
it is a combination of block and indented form ah uh, for me it is all same okay so hanging and indented you just a uh, 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 format you give the format as same itself only name will be changing and second thing is i mean the so last thing is noma noma a simplified form of business letter okay you see the format okay. here hanging i mean heading date inside address subject matter yes subject matter is coming not salutation it is subject matter is coming subject matter means you refer a sub and give the uh, what your intention of your letter in short version like in one uh, one sentence itself you will mention the intention of your letter for example i am writing a letter uh, to resign my job so subject will be uh, tendering uh, my uh, resignation letter that is the subject i am saying for example okay para will be as it was in uh, block form itself but uh, signature will be appearing in the uh, uh, left side that is a uh, semi block uh, form uh, adhering and dictator and uh, stenograph initial and uh, enclose you understood yes ma'am yes ma'am so noma means national office management association which is used in usa originally originally and it saves lot of uh, stenographers time okay your complimentary close salutation is completely eliminated okay compared to other layout this layout salutation is eliminated in that case subject matter will come then complimentary close is eliminated here signature comes directly no more letter that is called as no more letter till now is there any doubt layout of different uh, business letters no ma'am so i have given you a prelude on how the business letters are appearing uh now we will go for the content i'm sharing my screen now presentation is it uh, visible so yes, six yes. forms of layout is coming La block form semi block form complete block form indented form hanging indented uh, as i said before itself uh, indented form has been obsolete and eliminated but the uh, hanging indented is a combination of indented and block form and uh, uh i indented format means uh, first letter will be starting from the left margin itself margin itself it will be starting but uh, remaining lines five space after five space giving five space only it will be started okay now we will go for request letter so, what is the meaning of request you will get the pardon what is the meaning of letter the request if you have a request if you have a request for other company other to uh, ask for something yeah good so you cannot go and ask him say in english that i want something no you cannot demand that you have to ask the request them politely what the information you needed or want correct yeah so a letter making certain request may be sent to a firm by prospective customers or the firm may send out letter of request to other firms or banks okay a firm may send the request letter to bank stating that i need a od please grant me od so i request a bank to uh, oblige my uh, br that is bills uh, payable bills pay bp you understand so requesting the bank 
to sanction my check or to uh, oblige my uh, bills uh, uh, payable you understood for writing the request uh, letter great tax and courtesy should be used okay tactfully you have to deliver your content you should not be rude you should be always polite you should be humble you should uh, always be very courtesy okay you should not be rude or uh, what do you say abrupt in your letter communication so that the reader should not be uh, offended okay so uh, when i say no to your request so ma'am in a subject ma'am is there okay communication you are new to the section ma'am ma'am tell me what is in the book ma'am na subject ma'am in a section who is that asking vinod ninga ipo da enter aningla illa ma'am na epo enter ninga epo enter aitingna aarambathil endu communication solli thana na class ku communication okay ma'am okay goal mattum pass okay if uh, now we are so is seeing the request letter okay now uh, uh, you people understood till now what is request letter you understood yes ma'am okay now i'm going in tamil request letter na enna appdin pathinga oru namba oru vishayatha vendiyo illa information na ketto namba innotar kitta vendugol vidukirathu okay ah or service ko illa information ko illa oru sir ஒரு ஒப்பீனியனுக்கும் நம்ம ரெக்வஸ்ட் வேண்டது ஓகே நான் பேங்க்கு ஒரு ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் அனுப்புறேன் எனக்கு ஓடி ரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க ஓகே அந்த மாதிரி புரிஞ்சுதா ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் நம்ம எழுதும் போது பணிவா பேசணும் ரூடா பேசக்கூடாது ரொம்ப டேக்ஃபுல்லா பேசணும் அவங்கள எரிச்சல் மூட்டுற மாதிரியோ கோபப்படுற மாதிரியோ நம்ம ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் எழுதக்கூடாது புரிஞ்சுதா ஓகே i explained in both english and tamil okay now i will go for a uh, uh, reply for a request letter okay in reply if i say yes that is very easy to write request letter and reply right but if i say no no i don't want it no i don't want your product no i don't need the service that you cannot say it no straight up forwardly so that i cannot antagonize them because i may need the service in future or i may want to continue the relationship in the future okay so when you are saying no they should not be any uh, they should not be offended they should be willing to continue our relationship in near future also like that way you have to say the no okay so say no so that you can retain the goodwill of the party by making their who made the request understood yes yes okay in tamil now ipo vandu request letter namba vidukrona aduk reply vandu yes illana no varnu yes vandu easy ah namba solliralam ana no sollumbodhu na no soltale nariya perukku pidikadhu appo adha namba sollumbodhu avungala kobo padutra mariyo illa erichal padutra mariyo namba solla koodadhu diplomatic ah sollano namba no solradha avunga purinjikittu adu yetukittu future liyum namba kooda thodavu vechikka avunga ready ah irukku andha vidathila namba no solla புரியுதாங்கிரம் i have uh, sanctioned od for you like that if, I, if the request letter was rise me od then i will say that okay i have raised a od like that so you should reply the letter with uh, i have uh, taken action like raised a od on such date i will be replying like that or i will be making any reference to the enclosure like uh, when the customer enquire bank about any product or any detail i will uh, give them 
the details in the reply or i uh, enclose my catalog or pamphlets in the reply okay that uh, that is also another form of replying next is incorporate sales stock for motivating the readers to active positively to the uh, suggestion if a customer approaches me and send me request letter regarding my product i will reply them by convincing them to buy my product any of my product like that also request uh, let us reply may be you understand yes okay na ipa tamil la solren request letter ku nam reply pandrom no andrada substitute la sollu na solliten அதுவே நான் வந்து எஸ் சொல்லும் போது ஒண்ணு நான் நீங்க கேட்ட ரெக்வஸ்ட நான் பண்ணிட்டேன் அப்படின்னு நான் சொல்லலாம் இப்ப நான் ஓடி ரைஸ் பண்ண சொல்லு ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்ணேன்னா ஆஹ் நான் ஓடி ரைஸ் பண்ணிட்டேங்க நீங்க உங்களோட டிரான்சாக்சன் ப்ரொசீட் பண்ணலாம்னு ரிப்ளை பண்ணலாம் அப்படி இல்ல கஸ்டமர் என்கிட்ட வந்து என் ப்ராடக்ட் பத்தி டீடைல் கேட்டிருக்காங்க ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்ணிருக்காங்க டீடைல் கொடுக்க சொல்லி அப்ப நான் வந்து பேம்ப்லெட்டோ இல்ல கேட்லாகோ அட்டாச் பண்ணி இதுதான் டீடைல்னு அனுப்பலாம் அப்படி இல்லைனா அவங்க என்கிட்ட சஜஷன் கேட்டிருக்காங்க எந்த ப்ராடக்ட் வாங்கினா பெஸ்ட்னு என்கிட்ட ரெக்வஸ்ட் கேட்டிருக்காங்க நான் வந்து இது நல்ல ப்ராடக்ட் இது நீங்க வாங்கலான்ட்டு அவங்களுக்கு பிடிக்கிற மாதிரி நான் பேசி அவங்கள கன்வின்ஸ் பண்ணி வாங்க வைக்கிறது புரியுதா இல்லையா இது ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டருக்கு எப்படி ரிப்ளை பண்ணலாம் எஸ்ஸா அப்படின்றத சொல்றேன் புரிஞ்சுதா ஓகே டில் நவ் எனி டவுட்ஸ் போத் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் தமிழ் யூ கேன் ஆஸ்க் நோ மேம் நோ டவுட் மேம் ஓகே நவ் வி will go for the next section so what are the occasions for sending letters of request next slide is visible for you yes ma'am yes okay what are the occasions for sending letters of request say obtaining catalog see i don't know i, I want to buy a saree from uh, uh, what do you say catalog uh, um, a designer okay i approach the catalog designer like uh, for example you give the name designer as uh, leonardo leonardo uh, the designer i approach them i request them to give me the catalogs of their sarees so that i can choose a saree affordable to me so the purpose of sending a request letter is to obtaining the catalog it is one purpose next is obtaining quotations okay i will request the uh, uh, construction companies to give their quotation so that i can decide whom to give a contract of constructing my guest house you understand so i may request the companies in the construction sector to uh, to give their quotation so that i will uh um take the lease quotation give them the order to construct my uh, guest house you know that that is obtaining quotation next is obtaining samples so i may be requesting uh, uh another uh, business concern to uh, gi- uh, give me requesting some samples of their uh, product so that i can decide what product to buy okay so they will be sending us a, a sample of each and every product from that sample i will see and decide what uh, products to be uh, should i buy like that okay fourth is to obtaining supply of goods on credit term okay i will uh, my business wants to deal with the uh, b limited business so i request b limited uh, company to supply goods of their goods to me on credit base i i request them to give me at least 2 months credit time okay if they sa- if they g- sell uh, say yes i can buy the product on credit after 2 months i can settle off uh, the uh, money which i have to give them okay that is a request so requests are made for this purpose for obtaining cat- uh, catalog for obtaining sample for obtaining quotation for obtaining supply of goods on credit term do you understand is there any doubt no ma'am okay now i'm going on tamil request letter la edukaga endha occasion kaga anpranga edukaga anpanu adin pathina 
கேட்டலாக பெறுந்தாங்க நான் வந்து ஒரு டிசைன் டிசைனர் கிட்ட சாரி வாங்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் அவங்க கேட்லாக்ல என்னென்ன சாரி இருக்குன்னு எனக்கு தெரியாது அவர்கிட்ட நான் ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்றேன் நீங்க வந்துட்டு கேட்லாக் அமைச்சிங்கன்னா அந்த கேட்லாக்ல இருந்து எனக்கு பிடித்த சாரியை செலக்ட் பண்ணி நான் உங்களுக்கு அனுப்புறேன் அப்படின்னு நான் சொல்லலாம் ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்ணலாம் அவரும் எனக்கு கேட்லாக்க அட்டாச் பண்ணி அனுப்புறாரு நான் பார்த்து டிசைட் பண்ணி சொல்லுவேன் ஓகேயா இது வந்து ஒரு அக்கேஷன் நான் ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் அனுப்புறதுக்கு இன்னொரு அக்கேஷன்ல பாத்தீங்கன்னா நான் வந்து ஒரு கெஸ்ட் ஹவுஸ் கட்டணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் எனக்கு அதுக்கு கொட்டேஷனு தேவை அதாவது எனக்கு யாரு கம்மியான ரேட்டை கட்டி கொடுப்பாங்கன்னு தெரியும் அப்போ நான் என்ன பண்றேன் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் ஃபீல்ட்ல இருக்கிற கம்பெனிஸ்க்கு எல்லாம் ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் அனுப்புறேன் நீங்க உங்க கொட்டேஷன் அனுப்புங்க நான் வந்து என்னோட கெஸ்ட் ஹவுஸ் கட்டணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் உங்க கொட்டேஷன் எல்லாம் கொடுத்தீங்கன்னா யாரு கம்மியா கோட் பண்றீங்கன்னா நான் உங்களுக்கு கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் கொடு பண்றதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு சொல்றேன் அப்படின்னு நான் ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் அனுப்புறேன் அவங்களும் அவங்களோட கொட்டேஷனை அனுப்புறாங்க நான் டிசைட் பண்ணுவேன் எந்த கொட்டேஷன்ல கம்மியான அமௌண்ட் கோட் பண்ணிருக்காங்கன்ட்டு நான் உடனே அவங்களுக்கு என்னோட கெஸ்ட் ஹவுஸ் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட் பண்றது கொடுத்துருவேன் புரியுதா இது ஃபர்ஸ்டிங் கொட்டேஷன் அடுத்தது பாத்தீங்கன்னா சாம்பிள்ஸ் அப்டைனிங் சாம்பிள்ஸ் அப்படின்னா என்ன இருக்கும் நான் வந்து அதாவது அவங்க ப்ராடக்ட் வாங்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறாங்க ஆனா என்ன ப்ராடக்ட் வாங்குறதுன்னு தெரியல அப்ப அவங்க கிட்ட நான் என்ன ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்றாங்க உங்க ப்ராடக்ட்ஸோட சாம்பிள் எனக்கு அமிச்சு விடுங்க நான் அந்த சாம்பிள்ல பாத்துட்டு நான் எந்த ப்ராடக்ட் வாங்கணும்னு அவங்களுக்கு சொல்றேன்னு நான் ரெக்வஸ்ட் லெட்டர் கேக்குறேன் அவங்களும் அவங்க கிட்ட இருக்கிற ப்ராடக்டோட சாம்பிள் எனக்கு அமிச்சு வைக்கிறாங்க நான் வந்து அதுல எனக்கு தேவையானது வாங்கிக்கிறேன் புரியுதா அதே மாதிரி இப்போ அப்டைனிங் சப்ளை ஆஃப் கூட்ஸ் ஆன் கிரெடிட் டர்ம்ஸ் அப்படின்னா என்ன அர்த்தம்னா இப்போ நான் வந்து இன்னொரு பிஸ்னஸ் கிட்ட இருந்து நான் இப்போ நான் ஆட்டோமொபைல் கார் வந்து நான் மேனுஃபேக்சர் பண்றேன்னு வைங்க நான் வந்து என்ன பண்றேன் அதோட ஸ்பேர் பார்ட்ஸ் நான் வந்து ஸ்பேர் பார்ட்ஸ் மேனுஃபேக்சரர் கிட்ட போயிட்டு எனக்கு நீங்க இந்த ஸ்பேர் பார்ட்ஸ நீங்க எனக்கு சப்ளை பண்ணுங்க டூ மந்த்ஸ் கிரெடிட் பேஸ்ல அப்படின்னா ரெண்டு மாசத்து கழிச்சு தான் நான் காசு கொடுப்பேன் இப்ப நீங்க ப்ராடக்ட கொடுத்துருங்க அதாவது ஸ்பேர் பார்ட்ட கொடுத்துருங்க என்கிட்ட நானு வித்து மேனுபேக்சர் பண்ணி வித்து முடிச்ச உடனே நான் உங்களுக்கு செட்டில்மெண்ட் பண்றேன் அதாவது ரெண்டு மந்த் டைம்ல நான் உங்களுக்கு சேர வேண்டிய அமௌண்ட்டை செட்டில் பண்றேன் அப்படின்னு நான் ரெக்வஸ்ட் பண்றேன் அவங்க ஒத்துக்கிட்டாங்கன்னா நான் வந்து அவங்க கிட்ட இருந்து கூட்ஸை வாங்கிட்டு எல்லாத்தையும் முடிச்சுட்டு டூ மந்த்ஸ்ல செட்டில் பண்றேன் புரிஞ்சுதா ஓகே இஸ் தேர் எனி டவுட் டில் நவு எனி ஒன் என்ன See, I have stated first itself, a banker will be sending his uh, customer remaining the due amount he has to pay or interest amount he has to pay or EMI he has to pay. I have mentioned that uh, yesterday itself. You remember? Hello, are you there? Hey, ma'am. Do you remember that? A bank will be sending its customer reminding is due for paying interest or debt amount or EMI installment like that. Do you, uh, do you remember that? That is collection letter. So what are the assumptions when you... uh dispatch collection letter the customer has forgotten to pay second is the customer wishes to be reminded that the payment is due third one is that something is wrong with the goods and services or record of the transaction that's why the customer is not paying or the idea of all the previous letters were wrong customer is ir- irresponsible customer will pay only if he is made to pay so why you are sending the collection letters because some people will forget they have to pay interest or due amount so you have to give them reminder then only they will remember it and pay so that may be the reason or you may feel that customer itself is not responsible enough you have to make him responsible he is very irresponsible 
so you have to give a collection letter and remind him and get the amount like that or whatever communication till then you have made is wrong the ideas are wrong so you are the, he has uh, misunderstood the stand so uh, you have to uh, send him collection letter and uh, remind him the ideas that this is the idea you have to pay me back like that or there is something wrong with the goods or services which you have rendered and records of transactions are not correct so you have to correcting them by sending the correction uh, correction letters so that is one point or the customer may wish that uh, no uh, first itself some customer will say say i will forgot that time uh, when it comes to pay back so you better remind me before two days itself so that i will pay you on that time like that they will say so you have to give them as a reminder itself another possible way is the customer totally has forgotten to pay for that purpose also we will uh, give issue collection letters do you understand any doubts any doubts no doubts no doubts okay no ma'am appa ellar thoongitinga nenche okay tamil la purinjida illa tamil la explain pannu va samey theru tamil purinjicha see or customers vandu maranduvaanga customer maranduvaanga இல்ல அவங்களே சொல்லுவாங்க நான் மறந்துடுவேன் நீங்களே எனக்கு ரிமைண்டர் கொடுத்துருங்க இல்லைன்னா வந்து அவங்க எல்லாம் தப்பா புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டாங்க அதால அவங்க அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங்க போக்கிட்டு கட்ட சொல்றது இல்ல கஸ்டமர் பொறுப்பே இல்லாம இருக்கிறது இல்ல நீ பே பண்ணுன்னு சொன்னாதான் அவர் பே பண்ணுவாரு அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு கஸ்டமர் அப்படின்னா கண்டிப்பா நம்ம லெட்டர் அனுப்பிச்சுதான் ஆகணும் புரியுதா இல்லையா இப்போ அதுதான் கலெக்ஷன் லெட்டர் அனுப்புறாங்க ஸோ டெக்னிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரைட்டிங் கலெக்ஷன் சீரீஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் என்ன பண்ணணும் ஃபஸ்ட் லெட்டர் இஸ் ரிட்டன் இன் கேஷுவல் டோன் கஸ்டமர் சிம்ப்ளி ரிமைண்டர் ஓகே ஃபஸ்ட் வாட் இஃப் யூர் சென்டிங் கலெக்ஷன் லெட்டர் யூ வில் ஜஸ்ட் சிம்ப்ளி ரிமைண்டர் த பொலைட்லி யூ வில் சே ஸ்டேட்டிங் த ரீசன் அண்ட் வாட் யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ தட்ஸ் ஆல் ஸோ இட் ஷுட் பி இன் கேஷுவல் டோன் ஷுட் நாட் பி இன் ஹார்ஷ் ஓகே தென் for uh, for that first uh, letter the, if there is no response at all the remainder letter a reminder will be sent stating that i have already issued you a letter no reply has been obtained please uh, consider uh, this as a reminder letter and uh, make the uh, settle the bill as soon as possible like that you will be sending a reminding letter then the third letter will be in the harsh way like stiff considerably some words will be harsh the writer no longer suggest that the customer has overlooked a payment due instead he will specifically ask what is wrong why you are not making the payment okay even after reminding sending the remaining letter and after uh, stating the reason also why you are not at all making the payment like that they will be asking in the third letter in even if the third letter also there is no response from the customer it is presumed that the accounts appears to be in danger so the banker will come to the conclusion that the fund will not be coming so the writer ask for a far play he may enclose a bill for a customer to sign okay so here for uh, after three letters they are not responding means they will they straightly send the bill to the customer and ask him to sign it like that that is the fourth letter in fifth letter what the customer is reminded about the importance of his credit rating and legal action if he fails to do if if legal action will be taken if he is not responding even after this letter okay that sixth letter what appears is it is final letter they will say uh, like uh, in sixth letter they will say it is the final appeal we are making if the uh, customer is not uh, making good of the expenses and embarrassing him legal action will be initiated like that they will be sending the notice in final letter and specific number of days is given to the customer to pay 
is plainly told that he, he either pays or face the legal prosecutions. See, first letter, first letter it will be casual tone. Second letter, if they don't get any response, they will send a reminder. Third letter, it will be lightly harsh. Stiffly, they will be writing something wrong you are doing. Please make it correct. Like that, they will write. In fourth, even after third letter, they are not responding. They will presume that is the uh, customer is very dangerous. Then they will ask the customer to play fairly and uh, enclose the bill to sign the, the customer have to sign. In the fifth letter, even after uh, enclosing the bill, he is not signing or responding anything. The fifth letter, the customer is reminded of the credit rating. If you are not also now also responding, your credit rating will be affected. No one will be giving you loan here after. Please be uh, cautious of that. Unless or else illegal action will be taken. Like that, it will be stated in the fifth lesson. Sixth letter, uh, even after fifth letter, they are not responding. Fifth, sixth letter, they will say that it is a final reminder call. It's a final appeal we are making. Please make good of your expenses and don't embrace yourself. Else, legal action is initiated. Like that, they will be stating it. In final letter, after giving some grace uh, time also, the uh, customer to pay his due debts, he will be legally, like he will be playing, even after giving time also, they are not paying means, he, he will be plainly told that pay now itself or face the legal action. Like that, they will be stating in the seventh lesson. You understand? Is there any doubt? No, no, ma'am. Okay, if you tell me about the collection series, you can tell me about the name of the name of the name. If you tell me about the name of the name, you can tell me about the name of the name. Then, how do you use the name of the name of the name of the name? Now, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to cut it. Is it correct? But, what do you do with the name of 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 the name? Abdin terpana. Apa yang na aku abdin na? Modal letter mandi cash flow na tone la anpo ang eh. Customer remain pani ninge bill pay pano. In the date le pay pani ringe. Adna date tu approach pani turke. Abdin solu ang eh. First day, first letter. Aduk ke yang dah respond tu marla na. Second letter remain dra anpo ang eh. Ma, ungil kena ngair kena remain dra amsto. Ninge respond panal eh. Ninge ipyo respond panal na. Ninge romba custom ayro ungil ta. निंगे इप्पे यादे निंगे बिल्ल पे पनिंगे अभी इन सुनवाएंगे थर्ड लेटर वो आधी को एंड रिप्लेम वारला ना आवला ना उन्जे कड़मिया पैसा आने सुनवाएंगे थर्ड लेटर ले ये इधर वाले वंदी ये रुम्बो अबेर कुमारस कष्ट पड़ा कुड़ा दे बलिक कुड़ा दे ना योशी क्या माटा रे अदनाले अंदर कस्टमर वंदे निंग Third letter pun, amu baru respon tu pun le, abdi na, anda le customer danger under tu, beri u pandu angge, writer mande ina sulangge, mana sah cora naran tu pungge, the bill atas punya tu, le sign puni an pungge, abdi ina sulangge. Ipo fifth letter le na agu, apo yang anda respon tu illa na, customer kita, ninge, kadana kat le na, umuloda credit rating affect awu, ninge ini kapre yengge me kadan wangge biya de, abdi ina ramai suli. Ipun ini ipun ini kalau kasih kat lana, unga melaya, satu puluh muka nada beri ke edukap padu, abdi muda suruh angga. Sixth letter le, ena suruh angga. Na apo yang dah respon tu wala na sixth letter anfa angga. An dah letter le, ini dah umul ke wa kadesi ya umul ke nane appeal pandra angga kita suruh ram. Ninge umgal lode bills ya settle panit angga. Ila na umul ke rombo, awmana mau pedo na legal action initiate panit angga. Abim suri punya. Kadai siya, air ada letter la. Konjo grace time lang kurite, awang katrat ke tipi, kadai nak katrat ke grace time lang kurite. Awang unun panle na play na suri punya. Ni ni ki katriya, illa legal action na face panriya. Abim kaya pang. Puri jeda? Yes ma'am. Okay ma'am. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, we have seen about uh, business uh, uh, letter uh, layouts. 
different types of business letters and uh, records let us uh, what is the purpose and uh, reply for that and collection letter what is collection letter and series of collection letter till now is there any doubts please ask no 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 doubt no kelunga no, no. okay no doubts so we have seen these letters uh, rest we will see in next section okay you have raised the uh, uh, rice doubt uh -huh. doubt we are asking what's up okay huh? okay 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 you are asking the what's up also what's up nasima is there any doubt you are raising your hand nasima are you there yeah i don't have you have raised doubt your me. hand sorry you are raised <laughs> oh, okay okay Okay. okay guys i think so till now your concept is clear with that i am leaving you we will meet next week thank you any doubts thank you ma'am thank, thank you thank you okay ma'am okay thank you thank you thank you thank you that's class okay thank you thank you ma'am hi guys come on to ஒருத்தருக்கு <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>